Welcome to the world of Eberron. Our adventure will be taking place on the continent of Corvair. It has been two years since the ending of a century, century long war known as the Last War. After a cataclysmic disaster, magical in nature consumed the nation of Sire, turning it into the Mornland and scaring the rest of the nations into signing the Thronehold Treaty, bringing in a tentative peace. The nations are no longer warring, although the people often mutter that it probably won't be long before the nations of Corvair are at each other's throats again. Our adventure will be beginning in the nation of Breland in the southwest, in the town of Shan on the coast of an estuary known as the Hilt. We find ourselves in a market district known as Tumble... Tumble... Damn it, where did you live, Adam? Tumble... Tumble Down. Known as Tumble Down. Mm. Sean is an enormous city made almost entirely out of spires reaching for the sky on the very edge of the hilt. In this market district, we find our first party member, a goblin named Cardock. Adam, would you like to describe yourself? Cardock is a elder goblin. He's a bit rough around the edges. He's uh, definitely, definitely aged by both the war and his lifestyle at the moment. He's a he's a bit of a cheeky guy, a little bit cheeky and a little bit nasty at some points but only if you get on his bad side or on his or on his job side but apart from that he's a goblin yellow skin he's got uh sideburns that grow out just below his chin obviously eye patch from missing an eye maybe from the war and a yeah, bit of a gruff boy he's got a lovely nose piercing all right so cardock you're making your way through a night market. Popped up in the poorer district where you live of Tumbledown of mm. Lower Jura. You're making your way to Rendezvous with a representative from the Boromar clan who gives you work every now and then by the name of Papal Banksy. You make your way through the crowded night market. It's bustling tonight. It's around 8pm. There are Dram trolls peddling troll sausage carved from their own bodies on an open barbecue. Ew. Sausage! Get your troll sausage! There are <laughs> Salonan merchants peddling trinkets of all different shapes and sizes. Gifts! Get your gifts! Gifts for your wives! You there, goblin! You look like you could use a little something shiny, no? 
Oh, I'm, on, I'm on my way to get something shiny, mate. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, all it's right, right. You, you keep, you back, keep your it. wares. You need something I'll nice come for back. the mistress. I'll... You come see me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back there, mate. You won't worry. You won't worry. All right, you make your way towards the end of the lane, and you see, standing against the wall, looking very casual, your Boromar clan contact, Paul Banksy. Although you're very well aware that he does not like the name Pipol. He spots you and moves into rendezvous with you. Yeah, I give him a nod as he starts walking over towards me. <clears throat> Evening, sir. How are you doing today? This fine, fine time. I'm just waiting for the journal entry to open. Quiet time. I get it. A little bit. That's <laughs> <laughs> So we could have what it looks like. There he is. Oh. So he's a halfling. Oh. Yeah. As far as you know, a, a fairly well respected of the Boromar clan. He approaches you. Mm. Alright, Cardock. Alright, Banksy, how's how's how are you doing? Oh uh, you know, keeping my head above the water as they say. Oh, uh, as they say, as they say. Walk with me, will you, Cardock? Oh, I, cer I certainly can. I certainly will. You flank him as he slowly makes his way through the market, tiptoeing around the crowd of people. I'm nursing, nursing a rolled cigarette. You fancy a story, Cardock? Oh, you know me. My ears are large. I can contain a lot of stories in them. Well, there's a man. A, uh, a baseball player. A ruddy good one. You might have heard of him. Uh, yeah. Z Zidane Hawker. A friend. Oh, no... Name's been around, name's been around. Hey, a friend of, uh, some of the high-ups in the Boromar clan. He's got mm. a daughter. A halfling named Sadie Hawker. Oh, now, really? How's she yeah. doing? Oh, well, she's been a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. In, uh... Oh, no. It, despite growing up, uh, wealthy, thanks to her father's riches and with everything a child could possibly ask for, she's... Right. Find herself tangled with a bit of a bad crowd lately, old Sadie. And, oh, that's uh, no good, that's no good. She's been missing for two odd days now after hanging out with some uh, colourful drum figures. <laughs> over on the other side <laughs> of Jura there. Cardock uh, will pull out a notepad at this point, kind of chuckling to himself. Pulls out a notepad and just like licks a pencil and says, Alright, give me last known location, I'll see what I can do. Oh, Go on. All right, fucking you, I could count on you, Cardock. Right, there's a bit oh, of you know me, I've got to keep... Well, that's fine. Not very good. Well, uh, she's been missing for nearly 48 hours already, so if you could get on to this as soon as possible, we'd much appreciate it. And, I'm sure uh, I can move stuff around. She was last seen hanging down at the... Uh, uh, that scumbag district where the... Uh, where the where the, where the drum immigrants hang out. Uh, Malian's Gate. Malian's got oh, it's, uh, what a place. You may have been there. Uh, last seen, uh, she was uh, frequenting a tavern down there by the name of Bismarck's. Bismarck's. Now. Yeah, you don't say. This could get a little bit rough. I'm not going to lie, Caddox, so you'll no, be no, well paid you know for me. this. I don't. And we've, uh, you... we've taken the liberties of uh, organising... Uh, a bit of assistance. I know you like to work alone, Cardock, but uh Well you I'm just don't invite other people. You um I'm gonna, gonna have get, to ask you to you know, uh, to work as a team tonight. Because we can't have anything going wrong. There are rumors That's fair. that these no, I understand, understand. have been bringing yeah, in yeah. more of their oh, dream lily shit and peddling it on our territory. And we very say. much like uh, we very much like any information you can pick up about that on the way. I certainly can. Who was that again? Sorry. The Dask. I got distracted by the sausage. The Sorry, drum dark. gangsters that have been causing us problems for a long time now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right. So uh, first person we're going to be meeting up with. There's little Kenneth boy, who's been uh, he's been doing Bro. a little bit of work for us in the last few weeks. He's proved himself quite resourceful. He's, uh, yeah. uh, he's not the most street smart little guy, but um, he's hella eager. And uh, yeah, he, so should be, uh, he should be up ahead here somewhere. Uh, as long as he else. keeps himself as long as he keeps himself safe and, you know, out of trouble. If yeah, well, a bit of nasty business does get involved, you know me, I'm 
a man of dirty hands, more yeah, than right. happy to get him dirtier. Never yeah, known well, a shower. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Well, I don't need to um, make Cardock. You know the Boromar clan wait. likes to uh likes to distance ourselves from the violence, which is exactly why you are contracted. Exactly, exactly. So, totally uh, if you go around poking out anyone's apples tonight, just please keep it to yourself and keep it out of the papers. Oh, there he is! Rook! Wait. Rook! Hello. Wait, you fucking late again, little guy. No, I've been hanging... You, to uh, you told me to hang out here, so I've been hanging out here. Alright. Well, uh, Cardock, uh, can yep. I introduce, uh, Rook? <clears throat> Well, I've got a little picture of him here just to keep in your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Thank you, kindly. Are you Cardock? Is, he, get... is he the fella then? Yeah, this is Cardock. He's a sneaky, stabby fella, and this is who you're going to be working with tonight. I want you to tag along with Cardock and do exactly as he says, Rook. All right? I don't want any more cock ups like there was on the docks the other week. All right. Promise it won't happen again, Banksy. No worries. All right. Uh, so, you two, there's another man. I've organized to be working with you tonight. Um, look, Cardock, it's not that I don't trust your investigative skills, but... No, uh, no, I understand. The I've terms of the on, agreement uh, are what they are. I, I have it on very good authority that he is actually a uh, quite a good detective, whether he admits to it or not. He may need a little bit of convincing, I'm told, but uh, you're looking for a man at a healing house, a Drasco healing house, down at yeah. uh, the Gate of Gold district, just up the road here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna come with you. Cause uh, might be best. Might to be, be honest, best. He, he doesn't know he signed up for the job. The uh, <laughs> the head of the house there owes me a bit of a favour, and she's uh, disclosed a few things to me. So uh, let's head on down there now, Cardock, uh, Rook. Let's head to uh, yeah, the Durasco Healing House up the road here. Mind if I'm by me? All right. Meanwhile, guys, on the other side of the district, we find ourselves at a Durasco Healing House. A, uh, a transient old half-elf by the name of Ciro is just finishing off his shift the, for the day, working at the healing, <clears throat> the healing house. Uh, Ciro, would you like to describe yourself? No, I wouldn't, really. <laughs> uh, Ciro is a uh, world-weary half-elf, and... You can tell that it's been a good while since he's lived somewhere reputable. His clothes are really ratty, caked with dirt of a hundred different towns. And he's just got that that slow lack of lack of urgency in his actions that you can just see that he doesn't he's just going through the motions of life at the moment. He's has no ambitions to be anywhere. Oh. He's just content right where he is. The only thing that he always makes sure of is that there's a bottle of wine close by. He's never too far from the strong drink to uh, keep himself occupied while he does what he can in the houses of healing here in Shan. All right, so uh, you just finished tending to a patient. You're exiting the ward. Um, the healing house you work at is um, it's quite defunct. It's quite run down. It's long been oh, so neglected. I fit, in, I fit in well here. Yeah, yeah. It's long been neglected by the higher ups of House Tarasco, and frankly, it's only kept open by the will of the halfling woman that took you in, Nora the Durasco. Um, despite being a, a fairly high, uh, well, well, she was a fairly high ranking member of House de Durasco in the city, she chose to turn away from. Uh, a well played, uh, well paid healing house job in the uppers of the city. Because uh, she preferred to stay down here and look after the poor and sick of Lower Jura. Eventually, a photo will load of it. There it is. Uh, she walks into the room, about to take over for the night shift as you leave. Uh, thank you. Thank you for everything today, Zero. Um. Good night. Listen, Ciro, one more thing before you go. Um, there's... Look, uh, this house would have closed long ago if it weren't for me taking out loans from uh, certain other characters down here in Lower Jura. And look, they, they've called in a favor. Look, I'm just going to stop you right there. I, I don't do those sorts of things anymore. Look, I know, but... So... 
I, I really need zero. I really need your help on this one. It's just, it's going to be a quick job. They just need you to find someone down who's missing down in the lower, in the lower districts. There's lots of people missing down in the lower district. Yes, I know, but there's, there's a lot of coin in it for us in this one. Zero, we can, we can help more people. Zero, like, just turns away for a minute. He's like... Another fine, voice, another voice rings out from the door opposite you. Uh, one of the main entrances to the hallway. Well, that sounds like the, uh... Sounds like the kind of thing, uh... My brother would be... Taking up. Don't you think, Zero? You turn around. Uh, your brother, Taran who have, you have not seen in years, standing behind you in the hallway. Oop. You're a hard man to find, Zero. Yeah, well, it seems that you and I both have that gift for finding <laughs> things that don't want to be found. <laughs> he walks forward. I like, look, give look you a past him. Like... You look past him, there's two figures standing behind him in the hallway. He runs forward and embraces you. Yeah, he gets like a like a half hug back. Not heart's not really in it. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> uh, standing behind him, there is a cloaked figure, tall, slim, wrapped in crimson and black robes, a hooded uh, robe with a mask and goggles, concealing every inch of themselves. Uh, Ronan, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yes. So, this is Ronan. Uh, as you can, can't quite see who he is or what he is, um, but he is a Warforged. And he is very self-conscious of showing himself as a Warforged out in big crowded areas. So, hence the rap rap. And, um, yeah, so he's... He's on a little personal mission in Shan to deliver a package, and he met uh, Taron on the way. Who right, you don't have to explain him. Whatever. You don't have to explain okay, the cool. background there. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just a description. Okay, 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 okay. All right. And standing behind him, there's a, a slim adolescent girl <laughs> with um, shocking grey eyes and long, uh, almost unnaturally bright white hair, uh, dressed in the garb of what appears to be a Sarlonan. And uh, she just seems to be brooding in the corner, keeping to herself. Taran turns around. He's like, oh, so, oh, sorry, brother. These are, these are my companions uh, traveling with. The first one is Ronan, the hooded fellow there. And uh, behind Hello. him is, uh, that's Kashana behind him. He sort of pipes up. She's like, Cash, my name is Cash. Uh, sorry, um, this is Kashana. Uh, cash, cash. Uh, where have you been, Zero? I gesture to the building. Been here. All right. Well, look, there's something important I need to talk to you about. Um, look, where's listen. uh? No, no, Jerry. Um, no, I'm. That's part of. One I need to talk to you about. I haven't seen Jerry for a long time, actually. Uh, li listen, uh, it's very important. I think I think you can tell me about this over a drink. What do you say? Yes, yes, that 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 sounds excellent, actually. Um, I start wa start walking out towards the closest tavern. Behind him, um, three more figures. Before you get the chance to walk out, another three figures enter the room. Uh, it is... Um, it is Banksy, uh, flanked by Cardock and Rook. I think I've been here before. He you steps know, inside. Fun, like, when they like step in front, I just turn around to Taran and I'm like, Are these also your friends? Oh God, I've never seen these characters before. Banksy. Uh, look, guys. Like, Hello. Um, All right, Nora. Yes, hello, Banksy. Um, uh, look, I, I spoke to Zero. Uh, he knows the deal, then. 
zero, is it? I like, uh, look at uh, Nora and like do like a head motion, kind of like the you know, are these the people type thing? Look. She she nods back. Like, ah, uh, who is it? No. Name's Banksy. Uh, no, cool. no, no. Who is it that's missing? Oh, right. Straight to the point. I like that. All right. So, look, Cardock here knows the details. This is who you're going to be working with tonight. This is Rook. Hello. This is Cardock. <coughs> and, uh, well, if you sound like you're ready to go, Cardock knows the details, so I'm just going to fuck off. Uh, Cardock, <laughs> payment will be yeah. through the regular channel. Go see the fence. Right. The fence. It's, you know, if you get the job done. If we get the job done, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we should, uh, yeah. Well, no. We'll get the... Don't don't worry, love. If! We'll, we'll I, it. like, turn, look at Nora. Way. I'm just, like, have, like, a perplexed look. Like, the, what have you got me into? He, um... Banks, you, Banks, you Banks, sure just, about this one? Banks, he walks he out the door. He seems a bit... He, uh, or he's that kind of character, that one is. You hear him, or he's uh, dumps you hear it on us. shouting that catches your attention. You turn around, and just outside the door, you see he's bumped into some cloaked figure. He's like, Oi! Which way are you walking, mate? You stop me while I'm walking again. You wish you had it. And he just keeps walking off, like, into the crowd. <laughs> Best leave him alone to his own devices. Worst is going to happen is he'll take a punch in the face. And, well, you saw it. A bit of rearrangement may not be a bad idea. Anyway, my name's... Name's Cardock. I'm a... I'm, I'm a goblin. Uh, this here is... You have uh, a firm grasp of the obvious, my friend. Thank you. Uh, this, well, sometimes pointing out the obvious thing gets us the easiest way down the track to what we need. Is ain't that right? Uh, this this here is Rock. He's uh, oh, no, Rock. Hey, he's, Rock. He's a guy. It's Rook. No, it's Rook, mate. Rock here is going right, to assist us and come with us. Please don't call uh, me Rock. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll figure it out as we go. I'll come over a nickname. We'll all right, we'll, that. We'll that, that. I've got some important business over here. No, no, here. no. And I point no. towards the closest tavern, and I start I'm like, and I'm like, Taron, uh, and mate, I stop walking. You mate, can tell no. me on the way, or you can tell me while we're in there. But I have something really important to take care of right now. But I need you to understand, as he stands right in front of the door, that I'm in charge of this group. If I look stuff, down. At you, I assume I'm taller than you. Yeah, 100. percent I'm only like three <laughs> foot something. Look, I don't know. I can't count. This is gonna go a lot faster if I can. Go get myself a drink, and then we can talk business. All right. I've had a long day. Yeah. Just come Cardock. on, come Cardock. with me. Cardock puts his hands on his hips, pushing back his uh his long coat, revealing the two short swords on his hips. And just says, "Look, mate, I need you to understand what we're doing before we go there." Well, I you don't. You can get no, no stop. Don't mind you having a drink on the way. I just need you to know it's sober first. You know it's sober first, it'll stick in and stay around for a bit longer. All right, if, you, well, if you go have a drink and then come back and listen to what I'm saying, the problem I'm going to have is that I'm not sure if you're going to know all the details correctly or what we need to do. Which means if you fuck up, that responsibility goes on me. And between you and me, I've got an alright gig here. I've only got maybe a handful, maybe two handfuls worth of people in this city who want me dead. And therefore, I'd rather not add one more to the list. Especially this group of people who are quite excellent at giving me the gear that I need. Taron steps forward. Uh, if I may interject, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Kadok? Uh, Kadok? Mr. Kardok, and he, he, bows, um, he bend, bows down so his nose hits the ground and oh, comes hi, back yes, up. I am, yeah, I'm this, this is Doc and Rock. Yeah. Uh, Zero, um, it looks like you're a little busy, so... Um, I'll... I'm really not busy. Like, I've just clocked off. Nora's about to start. Like, Well, you just clocked onto this one, sir. Look, oh, uh, I he turns to Ronan. Uh, Ronan? Yes? Could you please go with my brother tonight? If you, if you would like. I would. I that... will pay you, as as promised. But I feel if, like if you wish. Please, I... please keep him safe. Okay, I will. Right. He turns to Cardock. This is Ronan. He's coming with you. Ronan, I detect Hello. a certain uh, tone in your voice that sounds like it echoes through pipes and gears and metal. Am I incorrect in identifying that? Because clearly you've just hidden who you are. 
Ah, your observation is correct. I am a warforged. I fought with many of you. At this point, I try to like walk past Cardock, and Cardock just puts his hand in the way, but not losing eye contact with Ronin, and just says, "I've I fought with many of you back in the war. It's it is nice to have." Are you like uh, one sorry? On site. You finish finish your conversation. I'm, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying my best to hold. You. If you're trying to walk out the door, I'll be like putting my foot, and my arms in the way, but trying to keep eye contact with Ronin. Um, more than happy for you to try and push past. Yeah, I'm gonna like not push past you, but if you're gonna keep resisting, I'm just like I'm gonna just cut into your conversation. Like, mm. look, you want me to do something, but now you won't tell me what it is, and you're stopping me from going this way. So just. Lay it on All me. Right. Either let me go, or tell me what you want to do, but pick one of them. Alright, we'll cut the chit-chat then. There's... a daughter of... Fuck, I actually didn't write down the house. Which house was it? There's, <laughs> or a, who, there's the daughter of a Blazeball player named uh, Zidane That's Hawker. right, Blazeball. Thank you. Blazeball... Zidane... Is this how you usually or... go? Cardock, is this is this how it all, not always normally? Well, I, well, yeah. Normally, I turn up and uh, I get introduced to a guy. It's usually the same guy. Uh, uh, Banks, he's a love, he's a lovely bloke. He's never sticks around for a drink. Never one for too much chit chat. But uh, he's he's a uh, he's zero a starts man. tapping his foot impatiently. So, all right, all right, we'll get down to business. Blazeball Xander, he's uh, he's got himself a daughter who's uh, been missing for the past 48 hours. Uh, she was last seen down at Malian's Gate, you know, the lovely one around the hall, bit worse for wares, you know, bit nasty place. Uh, she was last seen at the Bishmak, which is apparently a nice tavern slash bar slash hole in the wall down in that area. We might have to go there for questioning to find out where she's disappeared off to. Wasn't given a name for the lass, Sadly. That she did. Yes. Nora. Uh, Nora. No, Nora, sorry. No, Nora uh, is... No, sorry, it wasn't Nora. It was Sadie. Sadie. Sadie, yeah. I never got... Sadie. Do, you, do you listen at all, Cardock? Well, I thought you were right. right. I mean, his <laughs> ears are big enough. Do you well, think they're painted on? Not pa You can touch him if you want, but not too much. But the, uh, yeah, so... But uh, we're going to have to head down there and see if we can find her. Should be an easy job. I've been told okay. you guys have to be brought along because there might be a bit of rough and tumble, you know. And soon as you're coming from a healer house, I presume you'll be there to patch up our wounds, you know, stick things up our nose as if we get blood and stuff like that. Ronin here looks like a formidable warforged, and if he's anything like what I knew them back in the day, we'll be we'll just throw him at them. Uh, I've had many medals, best. Yeah, the good thing about them is they're disposable. You know, you just get more of them. So, uh, Taron steps forward. He's like, "Okay, look, Ciro, um, come see me in the morning. I'm I'm staying at the Gold Dragon Tavern, uh, next district up, uh, ne next up in the middle district of Jura. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, Ronan, I'll I'll look after Kashana tonight." Yes, please do. And uh, they'll. <laughs> I attend. I attend to Kashana Holly, uh, and I say, "It's like." Stay with Taryn and be safe. Yes. I will return. Uh, and they'll, uh, they'll, they'll be a bed. There'll be a bed waiting for you, Ronan, when you're done. Thank you, Taryn. Of course. Thank you, Ronan. He turns to Zero one last time. He's, he'll look after you, Zero. Uh, you can trust him. Thank, thank you. I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah. See you in the morning. Right. He exits. Uh, so we've got business now. You need a you need a drink. Can you do uh, takeaway or does it have to be sitting in a bar? Well, look, I mean, it doesn't sound like we're on the clock. We're forty eight <laughs> hours behind. Well, so. these doesn't guys that... would like this to be a bit quicker. You know, she's been missing for forty eight hours. Let's get her within. You know, within 50 hours, not within, you know, 56, 60, what well, other numbers look, come man, after that? In my experience as a healer, the difference between 48 hours and 50 hours, you can't tell. But <laughs> the thing is, though, most hopefully we'll find her alive. If not, I mean, 
I presume we still get paid the same amount, but it looks All better right, well, if they're alive. We'll make a quick stop. Yeah, is there yeah, a bottle over nearby? Do you know, does anyone, there's a bottle. I think, I think Steve's bottle over it's around the corner. We can pick up something from there. Oh, no, I have, I've got oh, you a got, favorite. You've got, you've got your own stuff? No, no. No. Oh. Well. Follow me. All right. We'll, go, we'll make a quick stop off and then we'll head over to Malian's gate. Sound good? I've already started walking. <laughs> All right, Ronan, we'll, Ronan's come on, Rock. Follow come on, Ronan. Direct, directly behind um, it's, Zero. It's not Rock, R &R. Okay. It's all right. Well, um, I'm gonna step in beside Ronan. Be like, uh, Zero Warforged, then. That's okay. right. Uh, do you remember where you were made? Uh, yes, I have. I have memories of my creation. Because I had a, a bit of a hand in making some of the Warforged. Really? Well, just a little bit. I was I was apprentice back then, back in the war, but uh, I still work for one of the guys who made some, and he was pretty bloody good at it too. Yeah, I see it. Your handiwork when you you you're done to yourself. Yeah, and I'll I'll roll up my sleeves a little bit to to show off my mechanical arms. Is that quite common, Josh? So quickly, do people to like get body parts replaced with metal it, for fun? It's not. I'm a no, but it's not unknown okay. either. Okay. I was uh I was pretty lucky to get get these. Pretty lucky that I was born into a, a place that actually knew how to do it because uh I wasn't born it with arms, you see. So Oh yeah. wow. I guess so, you and I both have something to be grateful to the Kenneth family. Well, yeah, grateful for, but you know, they're still a bunch of pricks in the end, aren't they? We all strong. At all. Do you, uh, yeah, do you drink man. Warforged? I participate. Alright, well... You literally I can't suppose drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, I, if I participate, he drinks this. Uh, I'm assuming I can drink water though, can I? No, you can't drink, you drink all. engine oil. <laughs> you don't Just eat, sit, drink, sit or sleep. bar sleep. going glug, glug, glug. Mmm. Glug, glug, glug. Like, is, it, was it called, is there a difference between, like, don't or, like, can't? can't you can't you have no you can't, digestive yeah. system or anything okay. yeah 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 all right cool i will join you oh i mean i i can't drink either well i mean i can but i don't but we can go and hang out and talk about the plan or whatever yeah uh, uh, right. here right. we uh what's the tavern called josh uh the tavern is uh one second. You know, you guys were headed to a tavern. That was the whole, the whole shtick is where the thing was going. Yeah, but, it wasn't, but this yeah, is but needs, this is not my favorite tavern. Now. Okay, sweet. Just give me one sec. <laughs> it's nothing like a drunk healer. Well, what, what 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 do you think the tavern's called? Here's one I prepared earlier. I don't know, man. I just drink here. <laughs> it's never in a. Right, it's called the Drunken Harlequin. Oh. Uh, cool. Its neighbors include the small home of a female human named Brytho and the workshop of a male human. Wainwright named Edwards Bailey. It's a simple wooden shack with a single salvaged stone wall and roughly hewn wooden tables and benches. Yeah, look. Don't let the exterior fool you, alright? Despite the racket that goes on next door in that not idiot's place. workshop. Look, I've, I've... It's been, actually pretty I found, good. I found um, myself <laughs> at worse places than this, trust me. Like, you've never quite lived until you found yourself accidentally wrapped up inside... A local sewer system and then Thank trying to true. find your way out over the past next days like I mean not one of my worst sleeps but mm. it was a sleep it was all right but yeah no let's go in we'll get we'll get how many to go how many do I you go, need? go straight to the bar yeah right. um I was like hey I want uh three rums please uh, the um, the innkeeper is a short male dwarf named Golfrey. Um, he knows you well, Ciro. Is that hey, Ciro? Hit a bit hard early, aren't you? Yeah, well, I've got to cram it all in now. I've got to go and do a thing. So let's just get this over with. I like smash the money down on the bar. He's like, all right then. That'll that'll be uh. Oh, is this on your tab? Give me Ciro? this. 
Give me the, give me the strong stuff. You still haven't paid off your tab from last time, Zero. Ah, uh, well, like here's, here, here's some money, and then I'll bring you the rest oh, next time. Come on, you know how this works, man. Uh, Come on. Uh, if I, you could have stopped serving me at any point. He he slaps down your three rums, takes the pittance that you've laid on the bench, and is like, "You're you're still in the red, Zero. So you know." Yeah, well, aren't we all, brother? Start. He grabs one of the three and, and drinks it himself. <laughs> Slams it down. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, you ready? Um, yeah, I was like, yeah, smash them both back in, you know, like a couple minutes. I'm like, Ugh. all right. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's do it. All right. So no, you I'm guys prepared. head down. Uh, to the district of Malian's Gate. It's not far, it only takes you about half an hour. <clears throat> Loading our very I'll, I'll first turn, scene. I'll turn to Zero in the walk. So, Zero, why'd you allow, why'd you allow yourself to be uh, stuck in a situation where you're in another man's debt? You know. Zero? Yeah, well, that's a pretty personal question, man. We... <laughs> You know these things can have consequences eventually, right? Yeah, but... Like, you're he... gonna have to pay that bartender back eventually. Yeah, but, like... He's fired, man. Like, you know, I help the people around this district. Mm. You yeah. know, I do my bit for the community, so, like, they could let it slide. But they have Starts, haven't. like, getting a little bit, like, unsteady on his feet as he's walking. <laughs> yeah. God, Uncle, like, if you start sliding towards his way, he'll just put his hands above his head to kind of push you up and over. Ronan right so walks behind him, just, like, ready to catch him if he does fall over back. Um, Cardock will turn around to the Warforged and, uh, say, Ronan! Ronan, where did you, where did you serve? <clears throat> I do not wish to talk about this. Oh. Probably at sub tavern somewhere. No, he's he's not one of them drinking warforged. You see, he's, I've I reckon he's one of them fighting ones. You know, and then ones who are really good at attacking. Were you were you part of the like? Any we can't. It, it's yeah. No, all right. Nice. Have, uh, you ever, have you ever seen a warforged before, Cardock? No, I've seen many. I've seen many of my dear all boy. Right, like just... I said. I served in that war for 40 odd years, I believe, if my counting's right, which it rarely is. <laughs> and I do get taken advantage of a lot, but I presume it's some kind of cruel joke. But we all know that Karma will get them eventually. They'll have something that I'll need one day, and then they'll know, they'll know, they'll know. But yeah, no, I've, I've served with a few Warforged. Mighty, mighty warriors, fantastic guys. And the best thing about them is if they break, you can, like, you can just replace them. Disposable. They're fantastic. Well, why I'm would you so sacrifice really a real disposable. person's right. life for something that is created? Well, you know they're like have they have consciousness and stuff, right? Yeah, but it's not real. It's it can't well, be. They're kind of real. Well, no, he's real. Like he's 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 walked up to you, bro, and he's like touching you, and he can he's like grabbing your metal parts. He like bats uh, away your hands. <laughs> yeah, he's and he stumbles over it. But you see, he's he's still a real person, but like what he's thinking, he's, he's not, he's not, you know, it's a created substance. It's like if I was to, you know, make a pavlova, for instance, for those of you who are a bit inclined towards a pavlova, I wouldn't say, oh, that thing thinks. It's yeah, got well, its own about, free will. What you about know. my arms, then? Would you say that... No, you, you've, you've, you've got, you've... But your, but your brain's real. Your, your gooey bits inside are real. You know, they were created via sex, not by tools and like, which, um, don't get me wrong Ronan, and he turns around and says, oh you're a magnificent thing of creation I always marvel at the people who can create you, but you're not in the same line as other, like like me I might be a bit of a cheeky geezer, I might be a bit of a nasty boy but, Zero's uh, walking I've, up, yeah. <laughs> is this the establishment here? I've technically got my yes. own free will that wasn't created by somebody else you know I'm surprised he... for a, a, 
goblin that comes from a race that ruled for 10,000 years has such a small little mind. Well, I, I, my mind puts goes in the direction that it needs to. Well, it needs to stop talking. Oh, you say so, Ronan. Like, look, I'm not trying to knock you, mate. I'm just, just the understanding. Your opinion is not needed, Carlock. Come, come here, it's fine. Come here, bud. That's right. I'm not trying to make any nasty business here. Like, it's just. Ah, oh, I'll talk about my philosophies later at a at a date. You can. Yes, we'll, uh -huh. we'll get on there. Ah, there's there's the place that we're after. Need points. Oh. I need to get rid of all these things. I have to say, that art you brought up of Sean, I could not believe that you could find a setting that is both fantasy and Blade Runner, and I am right? so fucking excited. Right? Oh my god. Yeah, it's literally a... When That's do some... I get my hologram dancing girl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, do I already party, have one? When, when one of the party members can cast uh, Minor Illusion, or... Uh... Which one, one of you is a wizard? I've heard about mm. things from a mate at the back of a tavern. Alright, so uh, you guys round the these corner dudes. and uh, approach Bismarck's Bar and Grill. You see up ahead, uh, you hear the sound of uh, a crowd, like chatter on the inside, and uh, loud music. You pass by a drunk sleeping in the corner. He like rise, rolls over, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, Terry, how are you doing? Yeah, mate. How's your Susan? Yeah, he's good, though. Yeah, that's good. I know Terry. He's, he, we go way back. He, uh, he wants... Uh, I had to find a thing. And, uh, yeah, no, nah, we'll talk about it later. Terry, you, you have a good sleep. Yeah, mate. You approach the door. There's two very large, very intimidating-looking bouncers. They almost have a hint that they might have some ogre blood or something going Ooh. on there within them. Uh, oh, one of them I'll steps forward. Right He's got like a club in one of his hands. He's slapping his other hand with it as he towers above you. He looks down. He's like, "Good evening, sirs. Welcome to Bismarck's Bar and Grill. Will uh, perchance you be entering and dining in our fine establishment this evening?" <laughs> That'd be most most generous of you if you could. Table for four if you could. Oh, if you've got certainly, the space. sir. Well, uh, uh, you can see yourself in, but I, I am going to have to ask that you all check your weapons at the door. That's fine. That's fine. I will more than happy to, aren't we? And he turns to look at everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Run it, run it, Unsling my crossbow. Oh, splendid then. He, he steps out of the way to receive your weapons. They push open the doors for you guys to enter. As uh, the doors are closing behind, you hear the other one pipe up. He's like, you gotta stop reading your fucking books. I can't understand a word you're fucking saying. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alright, so as you enter, the room is large, round, made of stone. Uh, it's almost like an amphitheater even. You notice that you're on the second level. There's a basement level with large openings that you can look down upon the diners and the revelers below. That's why I can't walk over to that table and sit down. <laughs> That's right, because there's a wall there. Uh, but you see a small... At least just stick to social distancing. You see a small shrine up ahead and split off to the right and left. Two sets of stairs heading down into the basement area. I presume we eat Is downstairs. there any, like, uh, attendant person or, like... No, not up here. Ah. We'll head downstairs then, I guess. You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> <laughs> I understood that reference. <laughs> Alright, you guys venture down the stairs? There's something yes, we do. The stairs. But the now stairs we're stuck. seem to be working. Is it like black for you guys or something? It's just we're not allowed to move. Really? Oh, I'll try the other. Maybe those stairs are closed, right. boys. We'll try the, the other far one. Right hand side. You can't move. Yeah. No. Really? Maybe it's a VIP area. A little weird. Oh, yeah. oh I'll take this table. There, yeah, my bad. I don't think we're there you go. Oh, there we oh, go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was me. That was all me. There you go. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sir. It's working the kinks. Working the kinks. Working the kinks. <clears> there you go. <throat> um, I want to just. Like, from here, where I am, when I enter the thing, I just want to survey, like, the patron. Who are we sharing this establishment with tonight? 
uh, you just see it's, um, there's quite a lot of beast races. Looks like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, um, looks like there's a lot of drama immigrants around, uh, a lot of half orcs, orcs, even a few gnolls sitting here and there. Uh, there's a few humans, goblins, uh, but uh, strangely, uh, for a, a busy tavern, humans seem to be on the minority side. Good. No one likes a human. All right, we'll find ourselves a table then. Oh, I see Ruck's already got a perfectly good one over there. It's not, it's not Ruck. Uh. Yeah, come on, man. It's Rack. Get it right. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Look, Polder, really we'll get it right name, one day. Please. I, I believe his name is Rook. Thank you, Warforged. Ronan, right? Yeah, he's like our That's own great. personal recorder. It's great. Um, uh, is there any, like, a waiter or something around? Waitress? Doesn't look like it. How does everyone else... Are these just, like, meat on spits and stuff? It, yes, it, it is. Are uh, people just serving themselves? Uh, it doesn't seem that way, no. Uh, guys, get yourselves comfortable. I'm going to see if I can find an attender somewhere. He stands up and wanders to the west. Yep. Hey, you walk around. You, you, well, you see a bar area. Ah, and I head over to the bar and said, um, Do we order our food here or do we? Uh, is there somewhere else that we order our food, mate? Uh, yeah, hello, mate. Uh, yeah, hello, it's... um. It's, uh, you, you pay here, right? And then I'll, I'll give you... I have, my the cookie, buzzer. I have my cookie bring out uh, the necessary plates and cutlery and blades and whatnot. And um, you can just shave off yourself out there. It, it's by weight, though. Uh, um, That's fair. Yeah. Uh, just let me know. And um, if you want any drinks, uh, just over here at the bar. My name's Bismarck, by the way. Welcome to... Hi, uh, Bismarck. Welcome to Bismarck's Bar and Grill. Oh, it's a bloody, it's, it's a quite a tidy establishment. We got a bit stuck on the stairs before. I uh, thought somebody might have left something in the way, but beautiful. I love, I love the whole aesthetic about watching down on other people eating. It's yeah. a certain power to it as you walk in. Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, every now and then we get like, you know, the, the prank star he thinks it's funny to throw things down or whatever, but uh, yeah, they get a solid beating from that. the two fellows at the, at the front door, so it doesn't happen very often. Exactly what they need, proper beating. Oh, yeah, that's that. right. So we, 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 we grab plates, fill it up, then pay at the end. Oh, I just got a bit miscommunicated with that little bit. Oh, there. no, no, you pay now. You pay now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take, I guess, three plates. Uh, the, the one of ours, I don't think he eats. I'm not sure. I've never se I've never seen one eat, but I will take three, three plates. Three plates, and, right. And, uh... Yeah, three plates at like the. the oh, I, can I give you a gold piece? We'll uh, just get what we want. Uh, two two gold uh, pieces. You have a drink as well, or? Ooh. Uh, to hold the drinks for the moment. All right, fair enough, mate. Um, there you go. Well, yeah, a gold piece. We'll cover it then. Beautiful. And he he flicks he flicks it. No one doesn't flick it. He hands it over. He goes, "Thank you kindly." He takes That's the three plates. No problem, good sir. And as he starts, he says, "Oh, one question." I was, I was here a few uh, a few nights ago and I had a nice time, it was a big party, but it's, uh, is there a Sadie around here uh, that I could talk to? Her name is forefront in my memory for, you know, from that night and I don't remember much, but I'd remember a Sadie in this, uh, this, this place. Roll an insight check. Insight? Certainly can. Oh god. First roll! First roll of the campaign, boys! First roll of the campaign. Uh, Make it a good one. It? I hope I hope it's a good one. Why isn't the chat working? I can't see oh there it is. Uh, I think you have uh advantage actually. Why is that? A uh, viewer in the chat. Oh yeah, you have advantage. Hey. Thanks to uh Savage Who was it that 32. did that? Savage thirty two. Savage thirty two, you bloody lovely boy. We're all gonna get this. Remember you can hold shift and click on oh, the skill. Oh no, it's not letting me do the thing. Have you clicked? Did you click, on have, did you, did you click the Beyond D&D icon once? Beyond 20 icon? I did, and it rolled on the screen. No, no, so when you load in on Foundry, you have to click the Beyond 20 icon at least once to connect it with Foundry. 
Okay, well, it is it is connected. There's a little notification that pops up. No, it might not. it's not if you don't click the button at least once. Well, the one at the top? Yeah, in the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've clicked it. It's opened up. Whisper rolls. Never whisper. Normal roll. Yeah. So now yep. you should be connected. Now you should be able to make rolls. Oh, and you have to... Yeah, there you go. There's my dice. There it is, boys. And that was oh. a 24. I can roll it. I'll roll it again. I'll roll it again, Savage. There you go. That Thank was... you, Savage, for that slightly lower roll. <laughs> <laughs> You're a beautiful boy. <laughs> How does he look? <laughs> Young Joshua. Who's, in fact, older than me. You, uh... He doesn't, the bartender himself doesn't react when you say the name Sadie, but you notice the, the guy standing at the bar next to you. Hey, uh, well, exactly the way his token looks, a large, bald, muscular man in an open tank top. You, you notice his head, like, micro twitches in your direction. He picks up his drink and walks away. How does, what does the, uh, what does the bartender say? As I... Yeah, right, Sadie, yeah. Well, I know Sadie. That, uh... That blaze baller's daughter, yeah, she be covering her you flashing her cash in the last few days. That's probably why I don't remember much. If she flashed her cash around me, she might have got me a bit pissed. I, I came home and I found myself in this is the God knows situation, and it was just Sadie's in my brain. Well, thank you for that. At least I know there's a place that I could put a name towards. Happy uh, yeah. about that, at least. Thank you kindly, sir. Uh, no worries, mate. Um, I will wander back. So while while he's over there having that exchange with the bartender. Yep. Oh yeah, you're right. Like, so, Rock, your uh, partner. Who is first? Got, of all, he he likes to talk a lot for a goblin, doesn't he? First of all, it's it's Rook, not Rock. And yeah, what did I say? Well, I only met him tonight. I've, I'm doing a job for one of my, uh, well, a acquaintances, let's say. And he told me to meet up with that goblin fellow, Kardok. But yeah, he does seem to chat a lot, doesn't he? Look, come on, man. You don't have to use the lingo with me, all right? Just, just tell it to me straight. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? I, I'm, I'm just about as clueless as you are in this whole thing. I was just told I needed to help him out to do a job. <sighs> okay, and it's, we're finding this person, Sadie, daughter, yeah, so, plays ball. Yeah, I don't know what Cardock's going on about. He doesn't seem to have taken very good notes, but <laughs> I remember it all. Uh, Zidane, Hawker, you know that plays ball player? Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, anyway, of course you do. Uh, his daughter's gone missing, apparently. She was around this, this part a couple of nights ago, and... Uh, has been oh, seen. right, yes, yeah, 48 hours, yep, yep. Yeah, she's been yep. hanging out with some, uh, some dram gangsters or something, apparently. But... Yeah, look, man, she's probably hanging from something else right now if she's been missing 48 hours. I mean, I know you don't have any hope for her, but if I don't do this mission, then, well, I won't be in the good books with, uh, with Banksy, and then I won't get any more missions, and then I'll be back out on the street. Yeah, so we well... got to find her, all right? Can I wander back at this point? Yeah. Yeah, good timing. Um, as I wander back, I go, alright boys, plate, plate, Ronan, you, I didn't get you anything, I don't know what you eat, if you're, no, I, I like, I you, can get, you can get a leg, just hold it. I don't, don't need you. to eat, thank you. Um, thank you for thinking of me. That's alright. And he, he goes, near the bar, gentleman, got a bit spooked when I mentioned Sadie. I look over be... towards the bar, mate. There's, you you won't be able to see him. He's, 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 he's in the alcove around the corner. You can go for a wander if you want, and I can point at him. Um, yeah, but man, he, that he won't didn't... be suspicious at all. Well, you know, he might want to leave, and then there's a few back alleys here. Make it Are easier than making a scene here. Are you Well, no, no I'm, I'm a man who people hire for certain services. So, if, like most, as you know, most of these gangs like to keep their hands away from anything dirty, any of that nasty business. Well, I get hired sometimes to do that nasty business. Usually, it's, 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 uh, it's not what I prefer. I'd rather them just come out and say it, and say. Like, otherwise, I have to go through mild, uh, a little bit of exhaustion, you know, getting that stuff out, and then I've got to clean up, and then sometimes even dispose. But um, usually, usually they give it up quite quickly, and it's a lot easier if we get them privately rather than get them somewhere 
you know, while there's children dining. And he points over at, I know, two beholders with children eating. <laughs> you know, right. it's, it's, well, don't want to cause a scene, especially if they, <laughs> you know, one of you squeal and say, oh, I was taken by the Borrow McLaren. Oh, oh, yeah, no. I mean, and then punchy, punchy, death, death. You know, it's a lot easier if we just get him to leave because he feels uncomfortable. But then we fuck him. Well, let's hope you know? it doesn't come to that. Oh, no, 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 don't. I'm not hoping. I'd much prefer him, like I said, to give us the information. But if we have to, you know, I don't mind cutting a man for the information I need if it makes my job easier. Oh. All right. Well, there's the dark side, isn't it? Well, no, it's, it's, it's this side. Well, you do what you need to do, Cardock, and uh, I'll. Oh, well, I'm if we more. Get the job done. That's good enough for me. More than happy. Like I'm normally, I do these things alone. I'm not used to, you know, bouncing back ideas from back and forth. Yeah, I can tell you're not used to having people talk back at you. <laughs> well, no, exactly. I'm not. I'm not used to the idea. <laughs> Glad you picked up on that. So if I become off a bit standoffish, that's fine. The only reason that me and um, Banksy, Banksy gets along is because we've had a reputation for a few years now, which is nice. Well, I say a few, two, ish, maybe less. Can't count. Still haven't learned. But uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that's why you're here, Rowan. You're our walking calculator. So it's fine. Where, where are the, where are the beverages? No, no beverages yet. Don't no you think it's a bit odd? Like if, no, if, it's it's no drinking on the if job. We're here with if, food, but no drinks. Our point. Well, we haven't got food. Else, Your plate's empty. I never in the tavern. Didn't I didn't explain Look how you get the food? Look at their tables, you man. You go get the they've food all yourselves. All got food, and they've got drinks. Look at us. We've just got food. And apparently you just spooked some dude at the bar. Doesn't that look a bit strange to you? Well, I didn't talk to him directly. I just talked to the bartender uh, about something. Oh, hello. Such. Are yeah. you a waiter? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even just notice something. Is that the same guy? It's not. It's a different guy. Even though he, well, he, he looks is there a, like, the same. Is it there seems a, like a, the bald head look is a very popular look. Uh, down is this in... a village people co covered, covered <laughs> night on tonight? I don't know what that means. Yeah. Oh, they're they're a fantastic band where they sing about a uh, Christian weightlifting place where they you know they pick things up and then put them back down. I don't get I don't get. Yeah, it. man, look, but it's real boring. I'm gonna cut, I put my hand like over <laughs> Rook's mouth. Yeah, Rook, stop talking. Ah, oh, shit. This, this, I mean, Kato. <laughs> you see, this guy seems quite intoxicated. He like ah. he stumbles over. He's like, yeah. What if you fuck your metal arms? You look like one uh, of them war forges. Uh, I'm not. I, I just, I lost one of my arms in the war. I was, I was in the war, and I, sorry, not to interrupt. While that is happening and obvious and starting to draw attention, I'm gonna head away towards the bar. But uh, carry on. Ronan will follow. Uh, Did, Sarah we, as well. We, uh, Giant uh, rock. I've got you. If something kicks off. Were you? We? Were you? Were you in the war? Uh, yeah, I was in a fucking war. Well, how about I buy you a drink then, and we can trade some more stories. Roll, oh, a, goody. roll a persuasion check. Okay. Ooh. Eighty, tidy. Yeah, that, uh, that actually sounds uh, that sounds pretty good. Actually, yeah, you feel by it, then uh, yeah, let's go. All right, I'll head over to the bar with him, and as we head over, I'm gonna roll my sleeves down. Well, fine, I'll eat alone then! And he just wanders off to one of the pigs and just grabs, like, bits of it and just sits down and eats. <laughs> um, I'll um, let Rook go to the bar with his new friend first. Uh, I'll sit down and have a munch. I'll, I'll, I'll have uh, two drinks. Three, okay. please. Oh, well, two, and uh, I'll have a tea if you got one. Uh, we don't have tea. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, it's a, sorry, it's a regional thing. Uh, a tea... Is slang for your strongest drink? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, we've got that oh. for sure here. Yeah, like, let's go. Let me just check. I guess I can have just one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. There we go. So this whiskey, you spilled it on the bench, you literally melt through it. I'm gonna. I grab it. Oh, I'm gonna try to grab it. <laughs> I'm gonna let you take it. <laughs> I like smell it. How, uh, pretty how much of my nose hair gets burnt off? Uh, just a little bit. 
I mean, it's, it smells like pretty strong moonshine, but nothing you haven't um, dealt with before. Are you a little bit? Is he a little bit disappointed of how like it's like not as strong as it? As he's you know he's like he's thinking like yeah this is the fucking shit and he's like ah. Oh. Oh, I like give him the thumbs up and and walk away with it. I'll actually, I'm just gonna stand right here next to where Ronan is. <laughs> I'm gonna like, you know, do that thing that uh edgy characters do where they lean against the wall with their drink and survey everyone else in the room. Cardock is stuffing his face with pork. So, uh, Rodid. What are you yeah. doing with, uh, with, with Taran? How did you guys cross paths? It was completely by accident. Your brother... Most, thing, most things are. Yes. Well, your brother, uh, saved my, my life and caches, so... It was great circumstance that he was there and he hired me to protect him on his journey. And he's now hired me to protect you. Right, but, like, why? Like, Taran's, you know, normally a pretty, oof, pretty capable, uh, you know, fighter. <clears throat> that fuck, that is good. I did, I did notice that he was quite, uh, edgy on the way in, constantly looking for being followed. I thought at first it was for my sake, because he helped me escape, um, escape. From yeah, so I got into a tussle with um, some not so nice uh, villagers. I can't remember the village. Um, and your brother helped me escape before the whole town was able to lynch me. Well, I mean, they wouldn't have wouldn't have succeeded, right? You don't have lungs, so when they tried to hang you, you probably just snapped the rope, really. You would have been fired. So they had their I don't own means. You're worried about. It was more of an expression. There's other ways to kill Warforge. Yeah, well. He says, he says Warforge really quietly too. <laughs> I say to uh, Ronan a bit, like quieter, like so. Uh, that guy behind us, I like motion over my shoulder. To this dude, is that a? Uh, you think that's him? Does it approximately match like the description Kadok gave of the dude from the bar? I cannot see him, but let me get a closer look. The guy over here. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does. So what's up? <clears throat> yeah, Ronick. Ronick. Yes, that, that looks like that looks like the man. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he. Oh, you're asking me. I thought you were asking Ronan. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, I was asking no, Ronan. Yeah, he's, he's, he's here to asking Ronan. Ronan. What he says. Yeah, Ronan, you're talking about Ronan. <laughs> uh, you, so he is uh, just sitting at the table, having a quiet drink, and every now and then you see him shoot a glance over at the bar, over at Rook. He sees you guys standing there, glances over at you, glances back down. He's adding, acting incredibly strange. I think we may be compromised. <laughs> yep. Well, I think one more of these should uh, should set us on the right track, and I head back over towards the bar. Is a uh, uh, sure uh, yeah. Rook and uh, his buddy still there? Yeah. <clears throat> what are they? What are they doing? A Are you having sitting a, there, Kyle? Having a yeah, yeah, just uh, I'm sitting down at the the, the bar, just okay. talking to this guy. I sit down next to you. Um, I like hold I, up my I, empty well, drink to the bartender. I'm like, just before, one before more. Before you got here, uh, one. zero. I wanted to put down like ten silver pieces on okay. the bar and just tell him to keep them coming. No problem, sir. Uh, so yeah. when zero gets there, I'll just yeah. tell him to take. He really feels zero. He serves up you and the strange man. Uh, I will. The strange very man is just, just banging on about his war stories, about the time he spent in the trenches fighting against the Syrians. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna keep just pumping him up and just telling him that he's like amazing. I just uh, I take the drink and I go back to to K Doc. Yeah, I know how to deal with the drunk. What are you doing over here, K Doc? That's I'm not in character. In what are you? I'm stuffing my face full of like fucking food. Okay. I paid and everyone else left their plates behind, so I'm just filling up everyone else's plates with food ready to eat. No, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I like yeah, take. Okay. Yeah, no, go for it. Go for it. I've got more room enough for myself. How's, um, how's them drinks? I saw you get a few. Well, uh, do I try some? No, no, no. No drinking on the job for me. I want to keep a clear head just in case something kicks off, you know. Um, mm. I'm just kind of sitting here at the moment, and you got two exits down here, right? If he decides to leave, we can always follow the bloke. That's, yeah, that's he, my he plan. can't stay here forever. No, he can't. Not like he can't stay here all night. We well, can, Ronan. Well, Ronan maybe, definitely maybe can. You can, can. Pretend, Ronan can pretend to be a statue. Oh, that's Ronan, really sorry, I didn't even know you were here. Not nice, man. Come on. But, uh,. Yeah, no, that's my plan, and if it takes too long, I'll just go, I'll just straight up ask him, where's Sadie? Mmm, yes. Direct path, sometimes the easiest path. You know. Yeah, well, you seem to have this pretty well at hand, so, uh oh, um... I was just going to see what you guys were doing. If you managed to get it out of him before I did, it was like, drive, drive accomplished, you know. Um, yeah. look. While I'm at the bar, Josh... Yeah, I'd like to look around uh, and see what I can observe from this angle. In particular, I'm looking to see if there's any other exits uh, from here, like these these two doors. Yeah. Whether they like exits from the establishment or just like storage rooms, or uh, if I can kind of tell. From what you can gather, the one behind him would probably lead to a cellar. One on the other side. Yeah. Uh, you see people coming and going. It looks like it leads to some sort of accommodation. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, all right, when it gets to like the appropriate point of the conversation, maybe I'll lull. Uh, I'm gonna turn to this guy and say, uh, "Well, it's been it's been great talking to you. Um, I do. Uh, I, I'm really sorry. I do have to get back to my other mates. You see. Um, but here, I'm gonna tap the silver that's still on there." the bench you have another few on me all right keep yourself out of trouble yeah yeah all right yeah but one of the good ones little fella thank you for that thank you for you man uh, uh, an old man you have a good night mate and i'll very breathe a sigh of relief and rush back to the table <laughs> <laughs> rock you came back fast Oh, that was a close one, lads. He was, there's, uh, there's, there's your plate. He was about ready to punch me because of these things, and I'll flex my arms a little bit. You better not show him what you are, Ronan. I know. Feeling. Well, I presume my young... Well, I say young. Did actually see you. He's bald and got a goatee. The generic 35. They are... Uh, he's still sitting back there, ain't he? Yes, he yep. is. Yeah, little friend's just sitting back there. There's a uh, right. there's door up to the accommodations on the other side. Um, I'm not sure the if it's safe. Well, Ronan, how heavy are you? Two hundred and seventy pounds. Are you right standing in front of that door? Sure. How? Are the... All right. Well, well, look. This is my plan. I'm gonna head over there. I'm just gonna put my drink down. I don't have a drink. I'll I'll put myself down. Opposite him, and I'll just straight up ask him where Sadie is. Is that tries... really the best idea? Well, two things are going to happen. One, he's going to punch me, which means we're going to get thrown out. Two, he's going to try and run out, which means we can either follow him or stop him. I like the follow him idea. The idea of, you know, putting a sense of fear into this person might kick off their. In tongue, moving, going waggle waggle. Oh, Sadie's here. Oh, thank you. Then we get Sadie, we take him back. It's like, oh, you're the best. Here's free baseball tickets. I don't know what the sport is. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> Josh. What did this guy like? Is he like a 
obviously some kind of like brutish like heavy set dude or is yes. he yes he is yeah but i don't think he's gonna be intimidated you saw him right he was like pretty it's more the info so, what you're you gonna understand is I'm I like, might look, not be, fence, I'm but you're, small... you're pretty tiny that's he's my point not and but he, but look, it's just he felt uncomfortable as soon as he knew that I was looking for some. <sighs> What's happened here is he's not, no, he does not know where I am. The power does not come from me, because as you can tell, I'm not, I'm a nasty boy, but I'm not a very intimidating bloke. The information I hold, that's where the fear comes from. He does not know that I know that he knows where Sadie is. Right? He turns to a rock and look at him. Oh, is that is that that's right? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know that I know that he knows what Sadie is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah. So if I go over there and say to him, I want Sadie. What Sadie? Where's Sadie located? It that will put fear into it because he doesn't know that I know that he knows that where Sadie is. And that will spike well, the fear. I might not be... Your whole hand straight away, if you like, go over there and tell him that you know that he knows where Sadie is. Well, then we've just got to rough him up a bit. We've got a bloody fridge here. You can bloody hit things. We'll be alright. We'll be mm. okay. Just trust me. I've Otherwise, what we're going to do is just bed. have a nice dinner and then our oh, bloody he uh, the healing guy gets drunk and then we have to carry him home. Nah, man. That's fine. I could stay here. Can you promise not to get pissed, Zero? Actually, Zero, if you want to get pissed, that's fine. But just make sure you're stopping that guy for those stairs, right? Trip him up, throw yourself at him, throw. Where, where am I standing? Throw Rook at him. Just uh, trying to look. Oh, you said my name right. Rook. <laughs> Is that how you say your name? Yeah. Fuck! I'm sorry, mate. I didn't mean to be calling you something different. It's all right. Genuinely, genuinely thought out you were introduced as Rock. I'm sorry. Well, now you know. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm a man of information, you see. Now, these two... He's, he's standing over there and chatting now. These two exits are what you got to watch out for, right? Zero starts ambling this way. Oh. And I sits like down that. at this table. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. Ronan oh. follows after him. Ronan, come back. I, oh, you bloody idiots. Hey, man. I wander over. Look, um, Hello? like, it just helps himself and says, I was like, look, I don't want to, I don't want to intrude or unduly or anything, but, um, you see that, that yellow, fucking yellow bastard out there, the goblin? He keeps talking about you. I don't, I think, yeah, I just thought you should know that, uh, yeah, he seems to have some kind of, I don't know, some kind of weird fatuation with you. Alright. Uh. Did you, like, um. Uh, Oops. Yeah, I don't know. Did you kidnap one of his tribal council or some shit? I don't know. Like, look. look. I don't know what this is. This is a little weird. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm trying to risk. Just be careful as he like before he like gets too far from me, so I don't have to shout. I'm just like, yeah, just be careful. Well, right. <sighs> well, call that a What's clue. That? I said, oh, wait, did he walk past? I, had, I didn't fucking see that. I'm yeah. I was trying to type. Fuck. I was trying to tell you that um, I had picked up a steak knife and put it under my cloak. And I was going to wait for him to walk past or something. Hey, he's already gone. Sure, you would have seen... You wouldn't, you wouldn't have seen him walk past? Well, I was in the middle of typing to Josh, so I was looking at the keyboard, looking at the message, and he just wandered past in that time oh, being. Oh, sure. Because <laughs> yeah. he just up and left. Um, then I've picked up a steak knife. And um, my idea was to wander over there mid conversation. Right, he's Sarah, go upstairs. If we, push, if we push past that now, I will just follow him out. Where's Sarah? I'm upstairs. Uh, yeah. oh, Slowly following him. I wander out. 
If I can. Hold on, how do I open doors? There we go. Thank you, sirs. I grabbed my weapons. Uh, can we see where he went? Are we close enough behind? Uh, yes. You see him ducking into an alley nearby. Ooh, which one? It uh, doesn't matter. Just It's going to be off the map. Okay. I, um, I just start walking behind him. Is he like, uh... Do they let me take my drink with me out of the... Out of the tavern restaurant? Uh, yeah, no one stops you. Sweet. Um, how quickly is he moving? Like, is he just walking? Is quickly. he like... No, he speeds up and he starts running eventually. I'll, uh, I'll like, look at Kadok. I'm like, go on. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, running. I'm already, he doesn't have a chance. I'm already following. And when he starts sprinting, I'm starting to sprint. So keep up. Are we behind him, Josh? Uh, you catch up. To, he turns around and he realizes you're, like you're running after him. He's like, look, what? What do you want? And then I, I literally grab him and push him. I presume I'm like at crutch height. And I pull out this <laughs> steak knife and I look at it, throw away, pull out my short sword and have it like <laughs> under his chin. <laughs> stick stick it up under his chin. It's like, now, mate, you're going to say a name and you're going to give me all the information you have on don't, no funny business needs to happen afterwards unless you give me all the information. <sighs> if I feel like you haven't given me all that information that I need, that's when things start coming off. Roll Starting it. with your clothes so I can get to valuable parts of you. Then Look, those man, parts the can be dude, cut off. This goblin, he he wants you. I'd, I'd, I'd tell him what he wants to know. I'm going to roll an intimidation. I have to it, actually. Roll a persuasion check with advantage, Adam. Persuasion or intimidation? Intimidation is a thing in 5e? Intimidation is a thing in 5e. Okay, we're all intimidation then. See, senor. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a not good. But this one... Oh, that one didn't roll on that. That rolled. Yeah, Why isn't this working? Roll. Remember, you can hold shift to roll with advantage. There you go, 22. Look, look I don't know much. I, I was here a few nights ago. And she was around. She was hanging out with her tiefling. All right, tiefling. He he um he, he turns it. He turns, Warforge, you come here. Can you hold this this short sword for me? Don't move it and don't slash him. I know you've got a sturdy hand because of all the liquids and stuff. That I like, crouch down in front of this dude. He's like, no, Ronan, Ronan, can you ha hold this sword here? Don't don't move it. You can you do that what, for me? What tiefling? I've got my note pad out. His his name's Janus. He's one of those dusk. Is it? He's one of the dusk. How do you spell that? Is it, is it, I don't I know. Don't... Fuck! I can barely even read. Try your best, son. Try your best, uh, yeah, son. Yes, I guess it's. I don't know. Maybe yeah, it's the Yes. Maybe why? Uh, yep. Go on. Next letter. Yeah. Yeah. A. Yeah. Mm. Go on. A few more. Give me four more. N? Give me four more. Uh, uh, yep. I, just, I, I hit the thing out I... of his head. I'm like, shut yes. up. I, I pull a sword. If you hit this out of my hand, like my notebook, I am pulling a sword out on you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was like, bad at all. Like, so like, he stops taking this dude's valuable brain power trying to make him spell out stuff. Yanis, right. From Yanis, and he looks up at you. Oh, he's a um, looks back. He's, he's really scary. Yes. He's one of them dusk. He's been pushing, he's been pushing Dream Lily through this district for the last few dusk. months. Dream Lily. Uh, look, buddy, hang on, hang on. I like offer him some of my drink. I'm like, take a sip. He, he's settle like down. shuddering it, like spills all over his lips and down his chin. He's like, oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, hold up. Hold up. All right. Slowly. Okay. Go with speed. This teeth. Go right. on, this tiefling. Go on. All right. He's, his name's Yanis. He's, he's yep, a scary we got, tiefling. We got that. Uh, he's, yep. he's red. He's got red skin. He's in the dusk. Uh, he's in the dusk clan. Yep. He he's, he's, he deals Dream Lily. Him and his men. They they push Dream Lily, and fall through the district. I uh, I I don't right. know where they went. I I saw Sadie. I talked to her a couple of times. She's a really nice girl. Uh, How's she doing? No, she seemed all right. She was drunk at the time, but he's, uh, <laughs> she. she uh, she, she went with Yanis. Um, I heard right. something about a bathhouse. Go on, what's the name? Uh, uh I don't know. I mean, I mean, I've I heard rumors. I mean, I don't know if, about a bathhouse, but I, I That's heard, fine. Uh, Go on. The dusk. Um, there's a place. Uh, 
it's not far from here. And uh, you see a lot of kobolds and uh, gnolls come and going. And uh, I mean, everybody knows it's it's dusk area. You 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 just don't yeah. go there. Especially if Wait, you're what's human. the place called? What's the easiest way to find it? It's not far. You, it's it's a few blocks that way. It's uh, it's just. Do you know the name of the district. establishment? Uh, it, I don't think it's like a name. It's more of a private thing, you know. All right. Well, what's the address? I don't know. He, uh, Cardock slaps him. He's like, "Come on, mate. Uh, I'm not here to mess around." Just point us in the right way and we'll, we'll make it. Tell me how many lefts, how many rights. That way. If I need to go round about. Thank you. I'm writing down that way. <laughs> Does he write everything that people say to him? I don't think he's very good at writing, though. I, 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 my, hey, look, my, I think my, it just my, makes him feel smarter. All right. Get out of here. He, he just he skitters off down the alleyway. Um, Cardock will then note down the last two things that he wrote down, puts his book in his pocket, stretches himself out, takes the sword off Ronin, puts it in his sheath, and then turns to Ciro and said, Look, I can tell you've had a few drinks, because you're fucking arcing up. I can't have you on this job if you're going to be doing this shit. I'm put in charge, you give me attitude, or we'll just let, you know, Bassy handle all this. Or someone like that. Who? You know, the guy who introduced us to you. If he figures out that you're a loose end, well, let's say that debt is not the last thing you've got to worry about. You start what, to complicate missions debt? that... The debt you have with the bar. I don't have... What is that? What? That's not what we're here for. It's not what we're here for. No. So keep your mouth shut. We'll do a nice clean job. We'll do it my way. You understand? I don't normally do this with a group. And it's the first time being with a group that stuff has almost become compromised. And that's hey, what belligerence. Fine. You're the boss. Go. Show us the way. Rook, Ronan, you got any, uh, got anything to say that you want to say now? I, I think I just want to go to this bathhouse then, right? Fair enough. Well, he's not going to the bar house. Uh, bathhouse. He's at that way. Well, he didn't say if that was. Well, a you mentioned something about a bathhouse that could yeah, just be in rumours, but then he decided to run off after that. So I didn't get that little bit of information because someone told him to leave. It's all right. We'll find whatever it is we're looking for. Exactly. We don't need well, to worry about it too much, do we? Gnomes. Gold boats, gnomes at that way. So I guess. Gnolls, not gnomes. Gnolls. I thought you said gnomes. No, I said Knowles. Yeah, said I right, well, them. let's let's look for them. Not quite dragons, and them more than hyenas. <laughs> and I head towards that way. All right. Uh, does, does I will. I will to, sneak. Anyone want to I make can. an investigation check to try and locate said bathhouse? Uh, not yet, because the do uh, that guy said that it wasn't like immediately around here. Yeah. yeah, well, once yeah, we well, I mean, you, block... uh, you guys have walked a couple of blocks now in the direction he pointed. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, oh sorry, wait, yeah. the bathhouse is that way? It is that way, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I will make an investigation check. Okay. Not if yes. I do first. Oh, okay, oof, sorry. Big oof. <laughs> so, uh, I, will, I will as well. I'm going to throw in a minus wait, wait. one. Zero gets to add an extra... Oh, <laughs> yes! Whoa. Zero, you can uh... add an extra D4 to your investigation check. Oh, sweet. Because of your... Skill, intuition, yeah, whatever uh, it's called. Oh wow, that's a big one. Sweet. <laughs> on eleven. All right, so Ciro is quite intoxicated, yeah. but uh, luckily Cardox uh, rather switched on. Uh, Cardox, bet it's uh, it's that way. Just follow your nose. No, you got to follow where he pointed his hand, which is that way. Cardox, uh, after a few minutes of looking around, you noticed a large building with. Uh, Can I what is more or less a chimney on top, spouting, not smoke, but steam. Do uh, I oh, hear oh, actually, sorry, accents. there's steam pipes, and there is a chimney uh, on the other side of the building emitting smoke. Uh, a good giveaway that there steam. is a furnace burning. It's a telltale there's a bathhouse. There's a, there's a furnace making smoke. There's baths making steam. Furnace yeah. below the baths. Ew. Before we head around the corner towards I do want to do a perception check to see if I can hear any going onings. All right. 
I presume that's nothing. You don't hear much. All right, yeah. guys, coast is clear. A little quiet here in the streets tonight. So is there a reason why I can't see Adam's yeah. role so I can you, see everyone you, else? You've turned it to a private gem role, Adam. Have I? Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. I wonder how I did that. Do we need yeah, music you or you got music coming through? Well, uh, there should there be. shouldn't be any music because it's a quiet alley. Yeah. yeah. Ah, the, no, this is one of those ones I need you to hit me with some Serenscape music, Adam. All right, let's do yeah. this. Some S smooth serious. jazz. Some, some, some intrigue, please. Can't do. Ooh, is it going to be a little bit mysterious? It, it's going to be ruddy mysterious. Oh, I'm going to say a little, a little bit ruddy. All right, so you guys encroach on the building. You're now at the, the corner of it. What would you like to do? All right. I'm uh, going to move up. Go to the nearest. Yeah, man, you're the... You're in charge. I'm just going to wait back here. I'm going to lean on the wall a bit. You know, I'm a bit unsteady. I, I feel a bit responsible for Cardox, so I'm going to stick with it. Rookie, I feel like you're one of the... Uh, I can rely on you on something like this. Well, I'll get going to stay with Zero because with he's actually... Uh, needs to look, look after him. <laughs> Rookie, you seem to be one of the few that are listening to me. How good are you at listening to others? Um, I mean, that's basically what my job is, so I'll... I'll I, I guess pretty good. Listen into this door for me and see if you can hear anything. We're looking, we're thinking. You might uh, hear some Finnish accents in there, but that'll be fine. Just see if you can hear anything. Uh, I'm gonna place my ear to the door. Uh, roll a perception check. Sixteen. Bad. Uh, you don't hear a whole lot on the other side of the door. Uh, every now and then you hear the clink of coins. That every it. now and then it's in, it sounds like people walking past, or it sounds like a no, machine. The clink coins. of coins. Okay. Uh, I can hear coins, Cardock. Not, not quite sure. Coins being Uh, do you want me to try and open the door? Well, 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 well no. I'm listening. I want to like look around. Like, is there anyone else on the street? Like, are we like they're not being very innocuous? I'm guessing. I just want to see who else is around. See if like we've. Been uh, it's pretty spotted. quiet out here tonight. Uh, there's no one else around in the streets. Uh, I'm just gonna try the door, and if it's open, not open. It is open. Alright, how do we want to do this? I need you can see Cardox like pulled out a short they uh, pulled out a rape here. Wait, so you like jiggled the door handle? Yeah. Okay. Uh you jiggle it, the, there's a few seconds of silence and then from inside you <laughs> Hello Uh what kind, I, of, what kind of voice? I'm in. gonna push push Cardox I'll straighten away. up. Gesture him to put his sword away. Okay, I'll go and I straighten and then... up. Wait, what's the plan, Rip? You're the one who... I, I'm just gonna go in. Oh. I'll follow you through. I just open the door and say good day or good evening, gent, fine gentles. I uh, see. So How you, are you doing? You walk inside. Uh, it looks like a small reception room. There's a desk, a couple of crates, barrel, stationery all over the desk, and sitting behind the desk, there's a very clerical-looking kobold. Uh, he's sitting there scribbling away in a, a, a ledger. He has a, a monocle over one eye, despite the fact the monocle has no lens inside it. <laughs> he looks up, holding his quill, and he's like, ha, ha, Hello, uh, patrons for the bathhouse tonight? Yes? Um, Ooh. yeah, how, how much is it Do you to... Human? To... We don't yeah, get I hope humans that's okay. here. Um, well, one of my friends was here, and he recommended this place. Um, Yanis. Oh, oh friend, who is your friend? Yanis. Yanis. Yanis thought it would be a good idea for uh, us to come out the time. deception check. Oh, Can I give him, like, a, 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 a help with that? Uh, oh, nothing's gonna oh, help that. <laughs> Alright, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, good one. Oh, no. Yannis doesn't have any friends. Oh, <laughs> yes. Now, who are you? Uh, I, I will turn to Rook and go, Rook, if you don't mind, can you close the door for me, please? Uh, alright. And then... What's going on? Uh, Kadok, Kadok will turn over, turn towards the uh, cobalt and say, "Now, I'm only going to make this easy on you to begin with, right? 
I'm here to find out where a certain person is. And I need to know if you are willing to oblige or if we're going to have to, you know, get a bit mean about it. Ooh, roll an intimidate check. He bears his teeth. All right. Puts his fingers up to his mouth and then whistles loudly. I will pull out my short sword. The door behind you bursts open and two wolves crash through the door. Do uh, do we hear the whistle outside in the street? Uh, Roll perception check. I wanted to open the door. It was through a closed door. No, there's no no time for that. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, roll perception check. Ronan, you do hear something. You hear a whistle, but it's a whistle. All right. Uh... I hear a whistle, Zero. <laughs> <laughs> what? Something just whistled just now. From like in there? I think so. I go. I hopped out and like amble towards the door. That's all right. Don't, you don't get time to amble yet. You're back where you're <laughs> you are. <laughs> back where you were standing. Out initiative. Get back down there. Yeah, everyone roll for initiative. Make sure you get your token selected. Oh, sure. How's that 14 going, boys? Who's ready to get themselves fighting? Oi. That is not the right order. Uh, Tell me one thing, you guys. In the uh, initiative tracker, uh-huh. can you see the HP of everybody? No. No. Nope. All right, sweet. Where's we the initiative tracker? Either. It just says unknown creature for the other three. Yeah, that's good. All right, sweet. All right, well, uh, Rook, you're first. You've got a very high initiative. Uh, oh, wait. I don't think I've rolled for the NPCs yet. No. Uh, no. no. Oof. Oof. One of the wolves gets to go first. All right, it crashes through the door. Attempts to latch on to Cardock's ankle. Fuck off. Oh, there's the... Cardock, you are hit, my friend. Bugger. How much do I take? Go on, Doctor, tell me the uh, worst. You take nine damage. Whoa! Oh, I'm knocked oh. out. Oh, shit. And you are knocked down. Uh, Rook, it's your turn. I'm unconscious. Uh, I'm going to open the door. Okay. And shout out, We're on, lads! Um, and will I have time to race over to uh, Kardok and cast the spell? Uh, yeah, so you opened the door, shouted. You can have movement still, but your action's used up. Um, all right, I'm... Did you say okay. run, lads? I said we're on, lads. Oh, we're on. I heard run, lads. Uh, no! Ooh, also, next okay. player skill check has advantage. Oh, wait. Oh, a bit of, bit of product, product placement. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to shift it there, Josh. Okay. Um, that's all I can do here. All right. Uh, Adok, save against death. Ooh, alright, um, I wonder if we can kill a character in the first session. Holy fuck, we do. Stop at one. <sighs> Ten. Oh. That's good. Awesome. That's one success. Yep. Ronan, it's your turn. Ooh! I've never heard a robot make that noise before. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever met a robot before? <laughs> You clearly haven't well, listened to Frank Zappa. You've never met a robot like me. Joe Grant. As I move one. Um. Use the arrow keys. Yeah, yeah. Is the door open, yeah? It's open, yeah. If you can see through it. Yeah, I fly not wide open. Can I, um. <clears throat> I'll attack this thing here. 
three. Man, it's really helps see the squares. One, two. If I get to the doorway. Alright, yeah, you or get to the, Yeah. You can use your action yeah. to move again, or you can stay put. Well, you can attack diagonally to this dude. That is true. Is he, is he, does he look threatening? Um, he hasn't drawn any weapons or stuff yet, but he, he's a very clerical looking kobold standing behind the desk. Uh, true. It's up to um, you when you see him holding the quill and go, he's got a gun! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I um, was it called? I will just, uh, actually, I'll, I think the longbow, can I use a longbow? Is there enough room in here to use a bow? Uh, you'll have to, you haven't drawn it, so you won't be able to. Ah, uh, true. No, I draw my swords. Ready. That's me done. Sweet. Uh, other wolf. Uh, I'm trying to block this doorway. If uh, that is what yeah, strong. other wolf runs behind Rook. Attempts to bite him. A 16 to hit. Rook, your AC is... What's your AC? 15? 15. 15? It yep. is a hit. You take 8 piercing damage. Woohoohoo! Nice. I, I see you, you've gone for the let's fucking destroy the party uh, methodology with this campaign. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I thought we were playing I D &D didn't do it either. You guys split yeah. up Pathfinder. We split up. He says it's one, one split, bite does eight damage. Never split the party. Nine Zero. before that. Uh, I'll stagger down the alley after the Ronin and then double move into like behind the desk where the kobold is uh you gotta run through those threatened areas aren't they like already in combat still threatening the areas yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay if you run past that still taking a um uh, uh yeah. no i won't then hey, i'll what? just stand here with ronan oh, up here i guess okay Kvold like hides behind the desk, like cows behind the desk, and says, "Ah, yeah, get them, get them, eat them." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first wolf turns to Rook as well. Gives him the big snip snap. Oh, it doesn't. A fourteen to hit. It misses. Oh. Rook, it's your turn. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna use my action to disengage and say they're bloody vicious and whoop, I, I want to go sorry from here diagonally to out can yep. I do that yep yep and then as I run past Ronan I want to touch one of his blades um, and mechanically infuse it with magic. Well, that's cool. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that one. So I, I touch. Uh, Plus so one bonus to attack rolls and damage rolls. Oh yeah. boy. Uh, Cardux, save against death, please. Bloody, where is it? It's, it's uh, let's, let's give that a go. It's a pass. Ronan, nice. pass. <laughs> a little bit closer. Um, I enter into combat with this wolf. No, actually, I jump in front of Zero okay. to protect Zero. All right. And can I attack this wolf? Yes, you can. Cool. Uh, okay. So to do the t to do my attack, I can do I do a long sword and a short sword. Yeah, if you're gonna use your bonus action to dual wield, then yeah, long sword, then short sword. Yeah. So long sword. A fourteen is a hit, big hit, fourteen it... damage. Uh, oh. use it. Oh, wham! One-handed damage. Oh, sorry, fourteen to hit. Never mind. I'm, I'm full. Uh, fourteen to hit, five damage. Five but isn't damage. It, isn't it plus two? Isn't it plus two as well? Two. Oh, plus one damage. So plus one. Yeah. yeah. Six damage. And then hit him with the short sword. 
One, uh, also a hit for four damage. Five damage. Nah, it's no, the only infused one weapon. Oh, right, yep. yep All yep, right, yep. yeah, you inflict two grievous wounds. The wolf howls out in pain. So <laughs> the other wolf, hearing its body, uh, attacks Ronan. Full tilt. A 20 to hit. Holy fudge, Ronan, you, take, you take seven damage. I need, oof, you, oof, I need oof. you to make a strength saving throw, please. <laughs> right, let me do the strength saving throw first. Oof. Oof. All right, it pulls you prone, pulls you to the ground. Damn. Zero, it's your turn. Oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> uh, radio. Uh, how injured looking is Rook? Rook's bleeding pretty bad. Ah, uh, as he's like runs back, I'm like, "Where do you think you're going?" And I like reach out to grab him, and then I cast Cure Wounds on him. All right, you gain seven health, Rook. Sweet. Uh, and then I'm going to step up and across to like, I'm going to like head over towards Kadok. Okay. The Kobold uh, just continues to taunt you from behind the desk. <laughs> you did now! You did now! <laughs> Uh, other wolf doesn't look too good. You inflicted some pretty, pretty grievous slashes on it, but uh, with Ronan now pulled to the ground in front of it, it it, it attempts to maul him while he's down because he's prone. It will have advantage. It hits. It mauls you, Ronan, for eight damage. Oh, the. Well, I'm yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. There's, yep. a, there's a spill of war forged out chemical fluids all over the floor. Just you, Rook. It's your turn. Shit. Um. All right. Well, I'm feeling a bit better now, so I'm gonna head back in. And just as I see Ronan go down, I'm gonna put my hand up to kind of stop the wolf from mauling him. Reach down and touch him where he's starting to spill. And off my wrist will pop a tiny little mechanical spider that oh. scatters over to where he's uh, he's bleeding out and starts stitching it up with uh, with webbing. The little wow, webbing. fuck cool. Uh, so I'm gonna cast uh, cure wounds as well. All right, Ronan, you gain Forest. six HP. Kardak, save against death, please. A third pass, you are stable. I'm stable, I'm no longer bleeding out. Uh, Ronan, you're conscious and prone, what do you want to do? Uh, can I attack from the prone position? You can, it'll be at disadvantage, but yes. It only takes half of, half your movement to get up, Josh. Yeah, you I get up. stand up, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and can I, but he's getting up a standard action? Nope. It's no, half your movement. Just move. Oh, cool, so I can, alright, sweet. I'm going to attack. Uh, at this piece of shit. Alright. With my... Can I use my bonus action first and attack with my short sword first on this one? No. No. Ah, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Bam. Uh, six to hit and Oof. you miss. As you rise into your feet, you swing too wildly. And then my second. Second and eleven. You miss twice. Oof, 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 oof. All right, as you get back up, the second wolf attempts to bring you back down, still holding onto your leg. Uh, seven to hit. It misses. You manage to, like, wrench your leg out of its grip. Zero, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to look over at the wolves that are, like, assailing Ronan. And uh, I'm going to cast... Sacred Flame on this wolf. That wolf. 
One dexterity check coming up. Uh, roll the 22. Bitch. You missed, you're too intoxicated, and the flame goes over its head and washes against the wall. You set a bunch of towels on fire behind it. <laughs> uh, and it's like his eyes like go wide a little bit as he sees like this wall of flame on the other side of the room. He's like... Uh, uh, he like staggers backwards against the against the desk. All right. The cabal behind the desk begins to throw paperweights at Cardock's downed figure. <laughs> Ooh, do I take any damage? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, first wolf continues to attack Ronan. Oh, that's a big oof. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake! That's big oof. That's a crit. Sixteen damage. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh fuck! Am I dead? Well, what's your max HP? Uh, fourteen. Okay, no, you're not dead. Had you taken twenty-eight damage, you'd be dead. Right, right, double. Uh, so how, many, how much did you hit me for 16, did you? Yeah, all right, yeah. cool. I'm out, I'm out. I'm on the ground again. <laughs> uh, Rook, it's your turn again. That little spider gun keep crawling. Just tending to your wounds. Critters and crawls all over you as I, uh, as I crossed. Kill wounds again. Oh, only five health. All right, Ronan. You're five health and conscious again. <laughs> <laughs> Cardiac <laughs> is unconscious but stable. Yeah, Ro- can't do anything. Rona, it's your turn. So, attack. Stand up first. <laughs> yeah, I stand up and attack. All right. Use my movement. Oh, well. All right, you slash the first wolf with your longsword for three damage, enough to finish what? it off. Can I chain into my second attack and use my bonus action on the other wolf? Yep. I do that. Uh, an eight, that is a miss. You swing too wildly. Uh, it attacks back. A nine to hit, you manage to sidestep it. Zero, it's your turn. I uh, lean down to Cardock's body. Come on, big deal. And I cast Cure Wounds on him. Oh, that's nine. nine. Oh. Yeah, Kardak will wake up and go, Who are you? Uh, fucking where is he? Cabal from behind the desk sees like the, the table's turning. He's like, ah, ow. He attempts to like edge past Zero and get out the door. Can I try to stop him? You can make an opportunity attack, yeah. Yeah, uh, can I like... I don't know what. Try to like trip him or like otherwise impede him from yeah, running yeah. away. Uh, you can make uh, if you want to grapple him or trip him. You can make a strength check. Cool. Give me a CMB check. We <laughs> don't have that in be, this room. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. It'll just be a, str- a strength check opposed by his strength check. All right, let's do it. Yikes. Not bad with a 14. Uh, well, he had negative 2 <clears throat> to his roll, which gave him, gave him, a, <laughs> which gave him a 13 total. <laughs> oh, you, uh, you get sti- wrecked. You stick out your leg and he falls flat in his face and meat crowns himself across the pavement. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, what do we got? First wolf is dead. Uh, Rook, it's your turn. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the dagger from my side and try and sit on this kobold uh, and put the dagger to his throat. All right. If he starts to swim, well, I'll give him, I'll give him a slash. But yeah, I just want to sit on him. All right. Yep. It's easy enough. He's tripped over. Ronan. Is, uh, Cardock, it's your turn. Uh, can I get up next to uh, Ronan and fight that lovely uh, wolf there, or am I out of? Uh, is that door to... No, there's small. room. Okay, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to fucking new fight. And I'll do a rapier attack first. In one hand. Oh. Uh, um, that's a miss. I'm... That's a miss. All right, well, I'm going to go, you fight, and hit him with my short sword. Also a miss. <sighs> Still woozy from uh, you know, being unconscious for the last 30 seconds or so. Yep. Rodan, it's your turn.
The time has come, Wolf. <laughs> Nice. When you want to hit four damage to the wolf? Five damage. Five damage to the oh, wolf. Oh wait, wait that's a longbow, Josh? Oh yeah, you rolled your longbow. Oh, well, my, my bad, my bad. Oof, uh, oh, you should have just hit him with your longbow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, one, <laughs> that one's a miss. Oof, I saw it circling that, that 20 for a while. Six damage on that one. And wolf, sir, and it bites back. An eight to hit, a miss. Zero, it's your turn. Radio. Um He's just gonna like take a second and like put his hands on like the desk behind him to like steady himself. And like looks at where the wolf is and like gets his center. Uh, and I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame again. <laughs> it's like, this time, this time. Ooh, all right. Dexterity save from the wolf. And 18, it's saved again, unfortunately. Ducks on the way, you just got too many of your allies in the way again, splashes in, sets more towels on fire in the next room. Oh boy. <laughs> The Cabal is is just with Rook standing over, he's just like, My give up! My give up! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically it's not flame, it's like radiant damage. Yeah. It's like holy, holy yeah, light. They're radiantly on fire. <laughs> ah, now I'm nervous. Where's your token, Rook? <laughs> Underneath the Cabal. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. For me, it's on top. Okay. I was uh, sitting on it. It's your turn, what do you want to do? Uh, close the door. Okay. Uh, and I just want to just keep sitting on him and dagger to the throat until this wolf is dealt with. All right, Carter. Carter, just gonna bloody hit him with a rapier. There's a hit and seven damage enough to finish it. How do you want to do this? Um, I'm gonna swear profusely in goblin and stab it through the eye, rendering its brain useless. It does do that. It does render its brain useless. All right. Fuck yeah. I'm excited. All right. Combat state over. What do you guys want to do? Uh, uh, Zero, like, goes for the slow clap. Just like... <laughs> oh, that's not the one I wanted. Ronan takes a knee. Because like... obviously he, he got knocked down like fucking two, three times or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and it's currently sitting on 5 HP. I can see why you're the boss. We barely did anything, Zero. K Doc. We talked I, to him. He just sick the wolves on us. I turn around and look at the desk. Is there like a, a ledger or something that this cabal had? Like I don't know. There is some yes. or yeah. What what's in it? Uh it's just a ledger of clients coming and going, the payments yeah. they made for the time at the bathhouse. I look for uh for Yanis or for Sadie. No mention of either of them. And okay, uh, is there anyone who whose name shows up like repeatedly more than you know, uh, two there, or three more times. than most? There's there's quite a few. There's a name. There's a Draca. Uh, question. Uh, yeah. She she went she went missing two days ago. Is that correct? Yes. Who was here two days ago? Here two days ago. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a list of a few clients. Nothing that stands out. To was it was it like uh, was it was it nothing that stands out? Yeah, yeah, nothing that stands out. Who's here True. right now? Who's here right now? Uh, oh, it's not that good. Yeah, it's it's not clear. It doesn't cobalt. really. It's it's a lot less detailed than you think. It's written by a low educated kobold. It basically has a name scribbled <laughs> amount of coin next to it. It's not that detailed. Yeah, Karak will fair. make his way over towards uh, Rook, who's standing on top of, or sitting on top of the uh, Cobalt, as good as hands up. And he'll yeah. say, right. You kill, yeah, you'll kill my pets. Now you stop, stop. Let me reintroduce myself. I'm a man here sent to get some valuable information. 
I'm here to collect. So, you best be telling me who's in the establishment right now, and if you've heard the name Sadie. He um, sticks out his like draconic tongues, like, <laughs> and it just starts screaming for help down the, the open door into the I hallway. He's like, Security! <laughs> Security! <laughs> you stab him? <laughs> Seven throat. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, roll an auto crit. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait, how do I do that? There's a bloody. There's a thing to do this. Uh, uh, oh, come on. Low computer. Uh, force critical hit. There we go. So before, before he gets stabbed, I, I, I want to. Oh, well, there you go. Too late. He, he took. Oof. A, he took a lot of damage. Uh, yep, you. He gurgles as his blood like pours out. He's like. <laughs> Security! Um. All right. Well, well so run and close. Run and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean off. I'll clean off the uh, right bench. Don't worry. I'll clean that up later. Uh, uh, Zero resumes the slow clap. <laughs> no, no. Cardiff will take a bow. <coughs> his nose touches the ground. It's like, right. Should we head in further into this establishment then? Well, you're the one who. Well, hang on. Maybe there's something useful here. Maybe you want to like. Burn this, and I throw him like the ledger that was on the desk. <laughs> he catches it. Hold up, let me just do it. Bro, can, I do not can, catch it. Can you please it, give me the spider again? Uh, it hits me in the face. It doesn't really work like that. Oh. I, w I wish I could, but. Rest in peace. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's got to regenerate some of his web before he can do it again. That's really cool, I like that. Oh, Thanks. I understand. I made that one myself. No, oh, that was me. That wasn't Cardock saying that. It was one of the voices in my head that might be in control of me saying that's a really cool one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So, what are we doing? I'm gonna head Here's out the that door. I put... Oops. I head through that door. Um... Clearly, there's got to be more in this establishment. You might have a better recollection. Yeah, oh, right. I mean, we can kill them too. I no, we don't them need the to. It's only if those circumstances come up, my friend. He did sick the wolves on us. Yeah, he wasn't particularly a nice man. And he just happened to meet up with a, not, a more not particularly nice man. Um... Ronan. Yes. Do you mind kicking down this door for us? As he um he will put his short sword and his uh rapier away and pull out his short bow. This this door here? If you if you'd be so kind. Uh, is this a strength check, Josh? Uh no uh, you haven't actually checked if the door's open or not. Are you just actually booting it down or? Uh, no, I, I, I... It's open already. Did you boot it down? It's open. Did you boot it down? I did not need to. Oh, you just opened it. Goes, oh, very clever, my friend. Um, Josh, I'd like to sneak in and get over. How do I do the pinging thing that you guys... Ah, I found it. I want to sneak over to over here, see if I can get through this entranceway without anyone inside noticing that I'm there. Uh, roll stealth check. Oh, I should actually, I'll mention, as soon as Ronan opens the door... A great mist pours forth through the door, emitting from the baths inside. Ooh. <laughs> That's mad. <nice. laughs> oh. Does he go a bit stuffy in here now? Roll your stealth check. Yeah, ten. Just clomper on through. Well, apparently I'm colliding. All right, as oh. you move, as you move past. Oh, sorry. As you move past the there space, there you glance to your left. You see two knolls. You see a, a large, open communal bathing area. Two knolls hanging out down in the bath you uh, make wet slaps as you walk across the floor and catches their attention immediately they spot a goblin sneaking through with a bow out Oi! yeah arrow in hand what are you doing 
I turn around, right, evening, ladies and gentlemen. I see that you're caught in a rather particular situation. Do you, would you like to give me your names? Yeah. Who are you? Well, I've been sent here by important people, and I would just like to know your names first before we get into any nasty business. You both seem to be in compromisable position right now, uh, being that you're in the middle of water, undressed, and I'm a goblin, and I'm armed. So I ask you again, what are your names, good sirs and madam? He's a guy. <laughs> I'm Draka. Draka. Ah, I'm. I'm Raz. Raz. All right, beautiful boys and girls. Now, how often do you turn up in this establishment? We are you regulars here? Is what I'm wondering. Yeah, we are members. <laughs> members, do you, uh, d gentlemen, you can come into the room if you like. We've got two friends here in the bath. Don't mind them. Don't mind the boys coming through. They might have a look around uh, the room, see. They're more interested in the rest. Of the room. I'm interested in you two, you see. Um, is there anyone else in this bathhouse with you? Or anyone else you've seen wander through? Lots of people here. Who are you? Oh, right now there are. You are not dying. They hear it. No, no, I'm not. Then don't you mind who I am? The less you know about me and us here, the more you are. Uh, the more, more lengths of your tongue you get to keep. Let's say it that way. Roll the intimidation. Let's say it that way. Oh, fuck yeah, I will. You get advantage <laughs> in this one thanks to Savage Thirty Two. Savage Thirty Two, you are my boy or girl. Or non-gender specific person. <laughs> I get it. Well, I mean, nothing's really going to change. We get better than twenty-three, right? Why does it only? Okay, well, yeah, twenty-three. Uh, they put 24. their hands. They put their hands up, like with the bow drawn. It's like. <laughs> no, no, get comfortable. No trouble. Just be comfortable. Yeah. Oh, there will be no trouble as long as you give me answers to the questions that I ask. I don't mind if you uh, leave here tonight with no scratches on you, but I also don't mind if you leave with some scratches on you. Also, don't mind if you don't live here at all. Doesn't bother me. Just as long as I get the information that I'm after, loves. Now, I'll say again. I need to know if you have seen anyone else enter this establishment. Enter one of those two doors to the north of you there. Or if you've heard the name... Ah, uh, Sadie. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. Oh, Yannis. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those doors lead to private baths. Yannis, mind his private own business. Private baths, you say? Well, I don't see Yannis. He has his own bath. And he's got his own bathroom, you say? <laughs> what a gentleman. Uh, isn't that right? No, no Rook, he's, uh, he sounds like a fine gentleman. He's got his own bathroom. He seems like a right proper fellow, doesn't he? Sounds like he gets his earnings. So, which one of them out there? Is it one of the ones out the back there, or there's a hallway? Like, what am I expecting if I open one of them doors? Right, private baths. Through back door. And are they... <laughs> Yannis goes through back door. He not come through here. All right, all right. He uh, goes through the sneaky way. So he goes through the through the back door to another bathroom, you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's excellent there. Uh... Jackie, you're doing so well. Last question. Have you, uh, do you know if either of those rooms are being used? Are we going to expect more not nice people? <laughs> Private area for <laughs> buses. So you came in through afterwards, would say. <laughs> if there was anyone involved, you wouldn't know. No, not Tracker. Thank you so much, Jacker and Raz. Raz, I know you're a bit quiet, but I can see Jacker's probably said all the words that you were going to say. And I th I thank you. And I will bow down and my nose may get semi-submerged in the water. <laughs> now, enjoy your, enjoy your bath. Don't mind us. Uh, don't leave and get someone. You're more welcome to leave. Don't mind the mess we've left out front. Uh, in fact, if you are out of a few coffers, more than welcome for you to have any that's behind the desk. I'm sure the uh, Kobo won't mind. Take it as hush money if you wish. They just and kind of, they I don't will say anything. They just kind of bare their fangs and just kind of like back into the corner of the bath. Enjoy yourselves. Like, pretend we're not here. 
and I'll just walk directly in front of them through the water to the other you side. Go through the water. It's there. It's basically neck height on you. You have to swim. <laughs> yep. I'll just I'll turn my heads to them and I wink and I go. Hey. <laughs> Get to the other side. <laughs> Boy, I can see why you visit this establishment. It's rather nice in it. Uh, Ciro and Ro Rodan, what are you doing? Uh, I just... Yeah. Uh, I just watch... Uh, fucking... K-Doc, like, yeah, have to swim across the thing, or just, like... Yeah. Rodan, I look at Rodan, uh, I'm like, is it safe for you to go through the water? Ronan taps here on the shoulder without saying a word and just looks to his right and then starts starts walking down the, the <laughs> circular path. Yeah. That is around the bath <laughs> without going in the water. <laughs> All right, Carter, it's soaking wet. Right, which soaking wet from like the neck down. So, oh, I'm a bit warm book? now. <laughs> All right, now. Now what? <laughs> No, uh, don't you, don't you mind, don't you mind. How's Cardock's book going after its little aquatic adventure? Don't you mind about my book, don't you <laughs> mind about my book. My notebook has taken me through thick and thin, don't you worry about it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this door here, Rook. Um, and if there's anyone on the other side, they should make themselves, you know, announced. If we're about to burst into a room, into a, uh, a situation where they're gonna be compromised. I'm saying that rather loudly, so if anyone is on the other side of that room... They can hear me say that, hopefully. Right. And I'll give them a few seconds to reply if they wish, and if they don't, I'm just going to open that door. Or unless I'm going to ask Rook to, and I'll have my short bow ready to fire if need be. I've got the dagger out, man. I'm ready to go. All right, well, you mind opening the door, Rook, if we get no reply? All right. All right, I'll. I'll... Is there any reply? I just like uh, nudge Ronan and I'm like, this seems familiar. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reply. Uh, what do you want to do? You simultaneously oh, open the doors? Go on. I'll yeah. open it SWAT style where I open it and push it and let Cutter go through first. And I will enter through with the short bow drawn. Right, I so have my, my also my bow drawn as well, Josh. Okay. So you, you open the door into another hallway with several doors leading off it. Uh, Dude, is that... And I see Ronin. I go, oh, Raven almost got you. Uh, just um, passively, you hear from the two doors directly in front of you. These two, um, you hear a loud ruckus coming from the other side. What sounds like multiple, Sexy time, right? multiple high-pitched voices uh, speaking in an unknown language you guys don't understand. You hear <laughs> a lot of cackling and a lot of like just raucous back and forwards. So those those two doors in front of us. Yeah, I think it's time for num uno number two no and kick down the do no. To get the let's let's do the same again. What do you reckon? Oh. I mean, are you sure just bursting in is like the right option? Just me. Right? I've 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 been in many situations like this. As you can tell, I can both there's, handle there's it and not doors. handle myself. I know, there's but this is this is we're hearing things from this room at the moment. We should deal with this situation first. I reckon. Very well. Um, if you'd, if you'd I, kindly. I want to listen to, like, I know I don't understand, but, like, how many different creatures do I think are in there based on how many, like, different voices I can hear? Roll perception check. You identify at least three voices, maybe more. I like put up three fingers. I'll give him a thumbs up. Not like that. Alright, you ready? Same again, <laughs> Rook. My head. That's I'll ever be. Alright, you open that door for me and I'll step in. Uh, With a serious shot shot ready if anything kicks off. Oh, uh, yeah, I like. Uh, fine. Roll my eyes and like this. I'm not happy about this. I is, there, is there any. Uh, <laughs> Uh, rocks on the ground, Josh, nearby? Uh, no rocks on the ground, no. It's all, like, nice cobblestone. Alright. Alright, cool. I'll on the door handle and jiggle it. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to try and do it without being noticed inside, or are you just being obvious about it? No, I want to just try and jiggle it, and if it opens, just push it open straight away. Alright. 
the door opens. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. And I there's like, it's like Well gentlemen, I see that you guys are having a thing here tonight. Don't get up, don't get up, stay seated stay seated in your seats. So We're just gonna come in and have a bit of a conversation. Speak, the moment you even speak after the door swings open, they turn around, see a goblin an armed goblin, a hooded man. Uh, a mechanical man and a random elf stand. They oh, all just name with a bow. They all just draw swords and attack immediately. I, if if I, I, I fire my arrow. I'd like to argue I have a surprise round and I will let go of an uh, arrow. I'm gonna argue you don't stuff. because you announced yourself, but Ronan can have a surprise round. <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's a good shot, Rook. Rook. Right there. So, right, do, sorry, do, I still, do I still roll to attack, Josh, or do I just do I initiative first? Uh, did you make an attack? Uh, can I? I haven't done it yet. I was. Can oh, I? Okay, sorry. I saw a dice roll on something. Oh, hang on. No, do initiative first. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Yep. Oh, did that 20 not count? Because. Yeah, you got to have You didn't have, have your other guy side so selected. I did. Try again. Nah. Yeah, all the initiatives. Nice. Nah, all the initiative says you didn't do it. Nah, I think it's because. Oh, boys, we, 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 we're getting a sea break soon, though. <laughs> Jones in? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm swimming up with this yeah. and stuff. I'm, it's, it's up to you. We can do this combat and then go on break, or we can go on break. Now we're going to do this combat uh, first. Fuck yeah. Easy. Yeah, boy. Okay, Easy. cool. Easy. So now can I fight my longbow? Uh, you get a surprise round, so you can make a longbow attack, yes. Oh, nice! Uh, is missed. The arrow just flings past and shatters on the cobblestone behind wall behind the kobold sitting there. Oh, remark! It also looks like they're engaged in some sort of card game that you interrupted. Uh, <laughs> go fish! I know right. it. Uh, oh, number one here jumps out of his chair and lunges towards Kardik. Now, now, let's uh, be reasonable about this. I don't want to have to fall asleep again. <laughs> Alright, swipes at Kardec with his dagger. A six to hit, Kardec, you sidestep it with ease. Now, now, Next. boys, now, now. The other kobold, after the arrow whizzed past his head, lunges towards Revan out of his seat, drawing his dagger and stabbing at him. <laughs> Uh, You're right. in the wrong branch. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna happen a lot. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it's so uh, uh, a six to hit uh, against Ronan. Uh, easily parried aside with the uh, the wood of his longbow. Ching! Kardec, it's your turn. Kardec will take a five foot step back into the hallway with the door still open and fire at that first one that's in front there. Technically, is he in melee combat? Uh, with, yeah. with yeah. Rook? Uh, yeah. Will I get yeah. my sneak damage? He's in five foot range, yeah. Alright, baby, let's do this. Let's Wait, do how this. Did you disengage without attacking? Oh, I just took oh. a five foot. There's no I five foot steps, not Pathfinder. You, he'll take an opportunity. Oh, then I just attack. disengage. No, he, he just, can use the bonus action to. I can use the bonus action to disengage. No, he's not I? a level three thief. He can't do that. Ah, uh, level three rogue. That's when you get cunning action. You, you can disengage, disengage with your action, move. or you can step back and take an opportunity attack. Can I use my move action to disengage? No. Ooh, okay, I was not aware of this. Well, that, can I fire at him point blank? Yes, you can. I, I, I will just do that. Maybe that comes at disadvantage in such close range. Oh, okay. Can do. Remember, you can hold well, control the roll at disadvantage. That's right. There you go. So take the first one. Alright, so that's that a 8 damage a hit. done to that first eight one. 8 damage right between the eyes at point blank range. The kobold convulses, going cross eyed, trying to look at the arrow, and then drops to the floor. Oh. Oh, I will then take my 5 foot step back into the hallway and say, Now, now, boys, don't let that be uh, a lesson untold. You're more oh, than welcome fuck. to drop your weapons and not uh, die like your, your leathery friend down there on the floor. And that'll be the end of my turn. Hey, Josh, apparently the music's really loud for chat. Yeah, I turned it down a bit. bit. It's like, Syrianscape's really unbalanced between its tracks. I'll turn it down a bit. Yeah. More. Like, one track's quiet, one track's super loud. But... I've just turned it down in Syrianscape. Oh, I turned it is down too, so yeah. now it's going to be in order. Oh, no. All right, you turn it up. I'll leave it where it is. Yeah, so that, that's a good level for me, too, the Syrianscape. Yeah. Okay, I will put everything down to that level. 
over the music. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize, I do apologize. I've not used this system for a while, I've had one of my other players use it, and all my shits are up in tears, it's dreadful. Uh, this cabal sprints through the door. Uh, well, I guess he stops there and stabs at Rook, the first person he sees. Oops, what you can do? Uh, 21 to hit, 3 damage, Rook. Gives right. you a little slicey slice. Ronan, it's your turn. So, um, I would, I'm just going to shoot a point blank range as well. Alright, roll a good <clears> advantage. <throat> so, hold control so when you the attack. Okay, hold control, gotcha. Yep. Nice. Four 15. That is a hit. Eight damage. Another clean kill. <coughs> Zero, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to move down to this door. And I'm going to try and listen. Or just, or just, yeah, I have a quick, like, put my ear against the door. If I can't hear anything, I'm just going to, like, watch down this corridor to see if, like, any of the other doors open. Okay. And just keep a lookout, basically. Right. You didn't open that door, did you? No. No. Right, sweet. Alright. Rook, it's your turn. Uh... I'm gonna use my action to disengage. Uh, and step back over here, just pointing my dagger at the, uh... The kobold Co that's trying to force his way through. Um, and yeah, just step away from the bloody body and the approaching kobolds. Right. Got it, it's your turn. Um, <coughs> they oh, haven't no, no, decided wait, I skipped to... one of the kobolds. Right. He runs through the door at Kardec. Oh, you fuck. Uh, 24 to hit. Yeah, that will hit. You Give take... me that damage, boy. Oh, as a crit. You take 6 damage from the crit. Fucker. Alright, my turn, right? It is your turn, yes. Alright, disadvantage roll. I'll take 2 shots of that. Fuck. And it's hold down shift. You take 2 hold shots? I take a shot. It's oh, shift okay. to... Dis control. control. Oh, is it control? It's control. Yeah, shift is ad uh, advantage. Yeah, it's 12. Okay, the didn't do, thing didn't work, so I'll just roll it again. I did it the, did second, it the second time. time. Oh, there you go. So 14. 12. 12 yeah, or 14? It's 12. It's the lower one. Yeah, so it is... That's still a hit. All right. I shoot him, and he uh, he, gets, he takes 9 damage. No, sorry. Yeah, he takes 9 damage. Plus 2, so 11 damage. Uh, no sneak attack, so he takes 9. Ah, sorry. He takes 9 damage. Yeah. How's uh, he looking? A clean kill again. He says, boys, boys, come on, settle down, I've already told you, like, I've killed two of them now, don't, don't let this last one be you, and he's gonna take, oh, is it his turn now? Uh, it is. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't get on. a chance to move. Yeah, go, go, go. Didn't go get a chance to move. Bloody. I'm dead. I'm gonna... Who's dead? In the initiative tracker. No. Oh. Unconscious. Oh, my bad, I must have. Uh, he ducks <coughs> over this way. There you go. Ducks don't, don't, yeah, and he just runs around the corner. Right. And like... One runs out into the hallway and six Rook. No. Uh, an 11 to hit Rook, you managed to. Barry. Barry. Ronan, it's your turn. Can I, do I, if I shot at this distance, would that be a di disadvantage? Nope. Good. Oh, actually it is because it's Misty. Sorry, I forgot about that. Everyone is... Like has a oh. concealment. Yep. All right. Cool. Even at ten feet though. No, it's the mist in the. It's not from the range. It's the mist. Oh, like, right. Doesn't matter right, what right. range you're at in this room. You're shooting at disadvantage. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, twelve. Still a hit. And damage. Nice. Another clean kill through the mist. <laughs> what does it look like? Um, so, as the kobold is rushing Rook, 
It's gonna get closer and closer, and then uh, Ronan's be like, right. move slightly to the left, and then dodge to the left, and release the arrow. Strikes him clean through the jugular and he bleeds out on the floor. Alright. Ronan sl- slings his bow back over his shoulder. Guys, but, draw- but draws his-, his katana. You guys have won the combat. Fuck. Uh-huh. Hey! Guys, we didn't that was sick. I can see why I'm starting to understand why the goblin wasn't allowed to work on his own on this job. <laughs> I go into this room and like what was going on what were they doing uh, so they were playing cards one of the table was just like just hanging out I guess you, you don't see anything on the table in front of him he's just sitting there there's a gonna there's wander a neat back little to the... pile of coins among the the cards sk- uh, I'll pocket those table. thank you you'll pocket the coins Godox. Kodok yep. will step back into the room and calm down the bathers and go, don't worry, They've left. don't worry. Yeah, during the melee, they they, they log on. during the melee, they disappeared from the room. Okay. He realizes that, shouts out, don't for te- pretend, they take the coin behind the desk. Fuck. Oh, I hope they don't All go. right, so, uh, Ciro, you find, yes. oh, and I didn't make it public, make it public so you can see it, you find this many coins. Eleven oh, silver pieces. Gathered across the desk. Oh, well, there we go. You guys saw uh, that one in the chat, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. I saw a 42. Sure did. Wait. Yeah, 42 on the D100. Yep. Uh, Equals 11 silver just underneath it. Yep, sweet. Beautiful. What do you guys want to do? You just cleared the room oh. of kabolds. <clears throat> uh, so, Ro, do you wanna... mind giving me a bit of a heal, mate? I'm feeling a bit worse for wears. Took a nasty stab wound from one of their daggers. Please. Um, nah, um, nah, man. I would be nice if you could. Actually, I'm actually out of spell slots, though. Oh, fuck. All right, well... <laughs> um, something that I've had to do uh, a few times before, Josh, is uh, dispose of bodies or get rid of them. So I'm going to start dragging bodies, in- bodies into this room. We could bathe them. Pretend that they're bathing. No, <laughs> I'm just going to drag them into this room. We can't burn any star. Yeah, just... bathing in their own blood, apparently. Oh, there's windows. Do we just open the windows and put them out there? Anyway, uh, I want to, yeah, go back and check this corridor. Okay. Uh, none of really the doors have opened. Zero. None of them have opened. No. Okay. That's right, Rock. I'll give you a hand. Rook, sorry, Rook. I'll give you. I'll give you a hand, mate. It'll be. It'll be fine. Um. Thanks, mate. Nice. What right, do you think, mate? Ronan? Perhaps we should look at this door first. Yeah, it's probably best that we check him out before uh, Captain Crazy kills yes, but... everyone in here. Well, I'm glad you called me little Captain. Murderous, little murderous goblin is very hard to deal with. Just so uncivilized, aren't they? All right. All right. Prepare Are you yourself. Ready? Three. Two, I open the door. One. Okay, so you push. The door open I've gone it. gives way without resistance. Inside the room, there's a this be a small private bathing room. Standing chest height in the water in front of you, through the steam, you see the obscured visage of what appears to be a naked woman. Discuss. <laughs> oh, I, am I aware? Sadie, do, are we aware? Are you here, Sadie? She, you hear a giggling through the mist. <laughs> uh, who was it that kicked? Was it Ciro and Ronan that opened the door? Yeah, the so Ronan's behind Ciro. Where is Ciro? Where is? I can't see him. Where? Oh, I think he's. They're both. He's underneath. Yeah, oh. That's the same square. All right. Did you say Ronan's behind Ciro? Yep. Alright. And you guys open the door without the other two? Correct. Yeah, I think we're still disposing of bodies. Yeah, right. Alright, uh, Ciro and Ronan mm. are going to need you make a wisdom saving throw 
Zero, you get advantage oh, on it because of your uh, one of your elven traits. Sweet. Is that I just do I just is. click wisdom roll or is there like you, a you hold shift and click to do with advantage? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Nice. All right. Well, you hear an eerie singing coming through the mist. Ronan, you've never heard anything like this, and you can't help. But stop yourself. You're not able to stop yourself from moving closer to the source of the singing. You are lured into entering the bath next to this. Can I try to stop him? I assume Ciro is... I assume I've resisted? You, you've resisted, yeah. <laughs> So I'm standing here and Ronan's like bumping into me trying to walk past me, right? Yeah. I was like, oh, what are you doing? Stop. Hey, whoa! <laughs> Water's not good for you! And I like try. Uh, roll, uh, roll strength check opposed by Ronan's strength check. Oh! Oh, here we go. Oh, damn. Yes. Uh, you managed to. <laughs> oh! You managed to oh. hold him back, push him backwards. And then, as you, you're doing so, you hear like a shriek behind you. Like, yeah! the, Jesus! The woman, emer- Jesus. Fuck. The woman Fuck. emerges from the mist. Uh, it's a harp. It's a uh, harpy bursting through from the water. What do you want to do? Oh, fuck! Uh, can I just back up and shut the door? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> fuck this! <laughs> You see, you see Rook and uh, oh, yeah. oh no, and, nah, there you go. And Cardock just holding a nope. body gun. What? What? <laughs> they burst out this door. Is is uh? Does the, the, does the shriek knock Ronan out of his stupor? Uh, it does not actually. You're still still trying to so, there we go. still trying to move past Zero to open the door. But am I? So I'm being drawn to the singing, but there's no more singing. Because uh, she screeched. It's, it's, no, it, it, you're just still you, you're still lured to the other side of the door to the thing. Right. Okay. Am I just bashing against it, or am I going to try and open it? Well, zero is still holding you back. Oh, true. Yeah, it's stacking up on each other. Wait, what's everyone doing? Well, are we are uh, me and Rook aware of this. Well, I guess uh, you can you can see me bashing. Percent- Trying to get yeah, through. So you, you guys would have heard a commotion, yeah, and you walk out and you see Ciro holding on to a door handle. Uh, roll a strength check, by the way, Ciro. Ro- also, what? at the same time, pushing Ronan back, who's trying to open said door. That's a pretty good fucking strength oh. check. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, damn. Alright, opposed. What's, what's happening here, boys? Uh, the, there was a commotion. It's a, the harpy got a four. It's like rat banging on the door on the other side, trying to wrench it open. Ciro's holding back Ronan, while at the same time holding this door closed. <laughs> he looks over at you two, you come out to the hallway and see this, this I'm like, ruckus. I am the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, um, what is, what's going on here? We, I heard shouting and then... He's trying to get inside, you're stopping him and you're stopping the thing from inside getting yeah, out. Yeah, can you, you just you like... Agree? I'm like, music. Yeah, a little bit of help. Like, both my hands are like, I'm holding things. Like, yeah, feel free to help whatever you want, guys. Cardot just looks at himself and his, his stature and he goes, Where am I supposed to help against the, the, the robot? Well, come and hold this fucking door shut. Well, why are you holding it shut? What's in there? I mean, fine. Go in and find out. I can't. You're standing in the way. All What's right, in I'll there? I the door and I walk away <laughs> this way. <laughs> The door bursts open and the harpy like rushes through it. <laughs> oh, now uh, I understand. You could have uh, just said it was yeah, a roll, harpy. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Music. Oh, God. Come on. No, oh, you bloody. Get. Oh. Alright, uh, Cardock, you have the initiative. 
Oh, oh fuck! I'm gonna pull out an arrow and a bow. How am I there? I wasn't. I wasn't in melee. I was like back there. Who pushed me? Oh fuck it! I'll take a shot then, I guess. All right. Uh, disadvantage. Hold down shift. Uh, control right. Control yeah. Oh, let's do this, boys. Let's get some. Let's get some. Let's get some stabbies. Well, that's one. Uh, the other need, one didn't work. Need to roll again. Yeah, no, I'm holding down control. It's just not working for me. There you go. There's the other one. So nine. Uh, nine. Well, eight. no, it blocked the second time. That oh, all right, weird. is a miss at this range. Shit. Manages to sidestep the arrow. And it's her turn. Uh, she. Attacks, one with four, one with four. All right, she uh, swipes what? with her two claws. A twenty-one and a five. The twenty-one hits you, Cardock, for four damage. The five goes well, I'm over not down your again. head. Four was it? Four. No, oh, I'm knocked down. Zero. It's your turn. All right. Um. Yeah. Right here. I'm just like, do you see? Do you see? This is why I was holding the door shut. <laughs> and I'll cut <laughs> sacred flame. Uh, uh, dexterity say, oh, she rolled a 19. You're not having a good time with your sacred flames tonight. Oops. <laughs> that was. That was. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. It wasn't, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. I was like, um, and Ciro's gonna back up down the corridor a bit. All right. Ah, uh, Ronan, make a wisdom save. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> You're still a lord. You're just like worshiping this harpy in front of her. You're like, oh, mistress. <laughs> Pretty music. Pretty music. Uh, Rook, it's your turn. Pretty music. Um. Would I have a, a small pouch with a few pebbles in it, Josh? Considering I, I know. I mean, if spell. it's yeah, if it's a spell you have, I assume so. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pull out a few pebbles and use my bonus action to cast magic stone on them. Okay. Um, and get them floating and spinning rapidly above a small point on one of my arms. Right. And then I'll use my action to fling one of them forward at this harpy. All right, roll the hit. Uh. Uh, it will be at disadvantage because uh, a ranged attack uh, in the midst. Sure. Still a hit, I think. Let me just check. Yes, 16. that is a hit. Seven damage. Seven damage. So, what the fuck is that thing? And I'm gonna back up a little bit. All right, uh, Kardok, save against death. It's bloody good this. Uh, roll. Hey, oh yeah, that's one success. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm good at these guys. <laughs> All right, the harpy turns its attention on the allured Ronan. Swipes claws. Oh, I think it both misses. Uh, an eight and a sixteen, and Ronan has a beefy AC. Both of them, they're just kind of like, they tear up his robes real good, but they just hit the steel underneath, just like, shing, shing. and uh, no damage to him. Zero, it's your turn. I'm gonna walk up to Kadok. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna grab him, and like, can I start dragging him back down the corridor? That's fine. Uh, and while I'm doing that, can I cast a spell on him at the same time, or is that going to be too no, much? No, you can drag him as your standard, and oh, you can cast a spell if it's a bonus action. Otherwise, no. Uh, uh, it is not. So in that case, I'll just walk up to him, and I'll cast Spare the Dying on him. Okay, and he is stable. Hey, Ronan, it's your turn. Uh, wisdom save. Wisdom save is correct. 
All right, you are. Hey. After the, the thrashing the Hoppy gave you, it like shakes you out of your stupor. Can I make attacks now, or? Or is my A-stand actually making a save? Uh, yeah, uh you, the saving throw is at the end of your turn, so you can attack again next turn. Uh, Rook, okay, cool. No worries. Rook, Rook, it's your turn. I'm just gonna huck another stone at this thing. Fucking huck it, mate. Give oh. it a huck, give it a car. That 18. is a good huck, seven damage. Damage? Oh, I'm honed in on the, the on these little magic yeah, stones. another magic stone flings through the darkness and catches her in the side. She shrieks. <laughs> uh, do these look like they're doing any significant amount of damage? It to does, her? yeah. Uh, she is, she's okay. bleeding from the wounds you've given her, yeah. Okay, so it's not just like glancing off. No, no, no. It is hitting her and drawing blood. Uh, Cardock's cool. turn, he is unconscious. I'm just gonna lie down and on the floor and just enjoy the fumes. Uh, the Harpy <laughs> takes another two swipes at Revan. A miss, and a miss. Ronan. Uh, Ronan, oh god. A miss and a miss. Get it right, man. <laughs> he he, he chose now? two very similar names for his characters, alright? This, <laughs> this isn't on me. Uh, hey, uh, I only chose my name because of the roleplay, okay? It just happened to be that they <laughs> sound similar. Uh, it's, uh, I am pretty- I'm, I'm an imaginative, alright? <laughs> uh, Zero's turn. Uh, now I will drag Kadok. Okay. Back down the corridor. I don't know. Like Not a single wise, move's worth you, of- Yeah, you could- you distance, could- you could yeah. drag him a- uh, Oh, actually, we're gonna- we'll say half speed because you're dragging a person. But like, that's- yeah, yeah sweet. Uh, Ronan, right. it's your turn. Oh, unless you want to do anything else, Zero? Nah. Alright, Ronan? Oh, I'll just, you know, just grumble to myself about <laughs> how much of an idiot this goblin is. Uh, yeah, Ronan. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So, uh, can it hit? I'm going to do, uh, I haven't drawn my short sword, so I just, I just have my, my katana out. So I'm just going to do with one attack. But two-handed, though. Oh, okay. Uh, how, how long's it been since... How long does it last? An hour, the magic sword. An hour? Uh, it is... Yeah, it it's hasn't been an hour, an hour so it's him. still effective. So a 16 to hit, and an additional plus one damage. Oh, he rolled less damage for the two hand. Oh, that's rough. Uh, four damage. <laughs> how, does that, how does that even work? <laughs> yeah, just it, just rolls, it rolls a bigger dice for the two handed damage, but you rolled lower. Oh, uh, right, yeah. okay. Uh, uh, you just gotta Whatever. pretend that one hand it doesn't exist, it's just taunting you. Alright, uh, uh, three damage, ah, uh, four damage to her. And Rook. Uh, I'm gonna step forward and say. Ronan Duck! And. Fling the last stone at a. Uh, that's a bummer. Yeah, this one flings through the darkness. You hear it rattle on the floor somewhere <laughs> up ahead. Out of Shit. unconscious. Uh, the no, uh, stay. RP. Uh, can I use my bones to just cast magic stone again? Yeah. Yeah, if you got the spell. So back. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Got a whole bag of All rocks. Right. Well, three more rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Harpy, another two swipes at Ronan, determined to draw blood. Wow, two fives, two misses. She's really not very good. She is not having a good no, day. No, I, I, can, I, can, I can attest that she's actually pretty good. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> uh, Ciro. Ciro? Mike was muted, sorry. <clears throat> um, I reckon I've dragged this dude enough for the time being. Uh, uh, let's go. One more sacred flame, please, and thank you. All right. Besides, what the fuck are they even doing keeping her in here? <laughs> oh, she rolled an exact 13. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's never going to work. Oh, man. One day it'll work. Rhoda, it's your turn. Alright. Seeing that my one-handed didn't work, I draw my two my short sword as well. Long... Long sword. Right, long sword is a miss. GG. Wing that short sword. 
That is a hit, six damage. It's just a faint long sword. Yeah. Yeah, you fake her out, slash across her torso with the short sword, drawing a splatter of blood up the cobblestone walls. She shrieks out. <laughs> Rook. Yeet. No. Ah, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna tap my arm a little bit and just check that the internals are working properly. Ah, <laughs> oh, is it like jam? I don't know. Fuck. It's the humidity. It must be the humidity. The circuitry's playing up. Oh, the humidity. Uh, all right, she swipes a Ronin twice again. All right, you are hit for seven damage. I am? Yeah. All right, I'm out. I'm on the ground. Shit. Fuck, we're a very soft group, yeah. aren't we? I oh, know. I'm. I honestly believe. I believe this is the DM's fault. To be honest, oh, I think yeah, he's just yeah. to... yeah. <laughs> clearly a level two encounter. Hey, what are you yeah. even playing? I want to see the levels of these beasts. <laughs> I want to. I want to see the transcripts. She storms forward to engage Rook. Zero. It's your turn. You buddy, get me oh, up. Doing something all right? Yeah. Gonna need yeah. some good rolls here, boys. I would love to eat a good roll. Eventually, this sacred flame thing is gonna work. Yes! <laughs> <Hi. laughs> ben has probably plenty of points to help you out, Kyle, if you hadn't have killed a Kinji. <laughs> uh, got him! Oh, you actually uh, killed him? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It, it was brutal. Ah, uh, Zero, it's your turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna dig deep here. In your face. Yeah, I'm to my faith. Come on, Baldre, just fucking act through me. I'm ready. Alright, she rolls. Go on. The dexterity save. Oh, 16. She's <laughs> gone. <laughs> well, I guess he just wants you guys to die. <laughs> Ronan, it, uh, save against death, my friend. Uh, yeah. I'm so glad I didn't pass out into water or something. So, how do I make the death save? Oh, here right, it is. Save. Uh, yeah, it's the middle one. Top right. And you want everything above 10 and above. That's good. That's a pass. There you go. Look. There you go. So you click cool. one X. One, one, one X. Yep. One, one X. Uh, Rook. Uh, I'm going to use my action to disengage. And... Uh, so Disappear into the night. Five. <laughs> yep. Campaign's so, over. You're gonna run oh, yeah. here. That was fun, but we shut the server down. I'm out. Alright. It's fled. Alex unconscious. Uh, the harpy. Oh, Ciro's right behind her. She turns on him. Oh. Wait, how f you fucking run away? Yeah. <laughs> Kyle. I can't take this. Oh, uh, Ciro. I don't know how much health she's got. Two hits for 13 oh. damage. Total. Oh. Yeah, I'll see you, mate. <laughs> Peace out, friends. <laughs> wow, I can't believe oh. <laughs> the fight is actually going to die. So we're going to play, we're gonna play <laughs> Death of Strahd after this? <laughs> Curse of Strahd. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, quit, I'm quitting D&D &D after I'm this I'm playing session. Curse of Strahd. That was easier than this shit. <laughs> Alright, zero save against Death. Oh, man. Oi, yes, sir. Uh, where's that on my character sheet? Uh, so once you have zero hit points, the top right should turn into a save against death thing. Oh, Chronicler may have saved someone. Oh, what did he do? He, uh, oh, he redeemed to stabilize. You are automatically stabilized, thanks to Chronicler. <laughs> also, um, Which, wait, who? Who? All of us or just Ronan? No, just, just one character, so just, uh... Oh, well, it's Ronan. actually up to the viewer. Who do you want to stabilize, viewer? Chronicler, do you want it to be Ronin Ooh. or do you want it to be Zero? I can tell you one of them is useful, one of them is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is useful, one of them is zero. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I've, I've been knocked out more, I'm not one to say. In fact, two out of three combats, I've been unconscious. Is Chronicle going to say who he's going to do it to? He said party uh, decides. No, you... no, Chronicle. No, do not oh, give us that. that. No. What he really said was GM decides. So uh, No. Well, I... you should roll a die. 
No, nah, because that, that party deciding would be super meta. GM deciding is uh, the word of God. So, uh, Ro Roll die. Roll Ronan die. stabilizes. Ooh. Is only fair. Yep. Thank you, Carl and Kala. Thank you, Does that mean I, I put three successes there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then you wait until somebody does a medicine check or... Uh, in that case, zero yep. does roll. And that's a pass. Ronan is stabilized but unconscious. Rook, what are you doing? Um, fuck. Fuck. All right. I I'm hearing this creature shrieking and I, I was kind of hoping she she would follow me. Uh, but hearing that she's not going to follow me, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, get to here and kind of shout at her to get her attention. Hey. I'm sure that won't be hey. difficult. <laughs> fucking Oi. come get me. Oi. Uh, what, you you yeah, fucking yeah. slag. Use my last move to there. I want to hold an action, Josh. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I want to hold an action so that if she's just about to come through the door, I want to move towards the other door and onto the other side of the other door. So like if she gets into this room, I want to move to the other side of the uh, you can only You can only hold an action. Yeah, can't I can't hold it. Yeah, move yeah, action. Can't. You can move, hold the move action, can't you? No, the has dash to be an action. action. The dash action. Oh, dash. Yeah, I'll take. I'll let. I accept a dash. Yeah. Can I not do that? But not if you end up running around in circles round after round. But I'll let you do it this one. Well, I'm not. Gonna, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I have a plan. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah, you you got her attention. She yeah. She runs for it. Yeah! Uh, what do you do? So I want to move to here so that she is in the bathroom. Yeah. At the end of her turn. Okay. And I want to try and slam the door behind me. All right. Yeah, that's easy enough. Okay. Now is it back to my turn or is she still going? Uh. Yeah, which, yeah I guess she has her action. So it's not back to your turn. You're like still where you were in the initiative. But yeah, she. Well, she's yeah, not, well, she's not stupid, she just walks back out the other door. There we go. Uh, what? Runs around to engage her this way. Oh, she... But uh, she hasn't got an action now. Uh, zero, save against death. <coughs> that is a pass. There's not been a fail yet. Rona, it's your turn. Uh, unconscious. What is the, um, the text on your little second win ability you have? Whatever it is, as a fighter. Yes. So, at my second wind, I can use it, um, let me scroll down. It's a bonus. Uh, once, yeah, once per short rest, can use it as a bonus action gain 1d10 uh, okay. plus 1 HP. Ah, uh, it's during a short rest. Alright, never mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright. No, no, what, once per, once per short rest. Oh, okay, gotcha. But I don't think you can take actions when you're unconscious. You need to be conscious. Yeah, yeah I need to be conscious in order to do it, yep. Yeah. Uh, so, Ronan unconscious. <clears throat> Rook, what do you want to do? <sighs> you gotta kill it right here. You gotta you kill dead. it, bro. Just gonna do it, man. Metal arms, just for show. All I right. believe in you, Rook. Uh, I'll just... <clears throat> 360 no scope. Rick, use your rocks. <laughs> I've still got one rock left. It's gonna be the killing rook. Yeah, fire all right. I'll, I'll fire a rock at her. <sighs> Why Oof. would you do that? That's Why would you do that? That's Why would hit. you take what? What? Eleven's a hit. That's a hit. Bullshit. <laughs> seven damage. Hey, I, I can't fudge it. You think it's all on stream? Uh, seven damage. And it still goes. Seven damage. Uh, your rock just yeah just slashes through her like flesh. She like lets out another cry like <gasps> she doesn't look good. She's, she's like holding the wound with one hand, but she's still coming at you. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. This, this is it. This, this is it. If she hits you, oh, how, much, how much hit points do you have, Brook? My bonus action to get three more rocks out, Josh. Okay. And it took uh, uh, a Salute this, the viewers. Her first, her first yeah. slash, wow. a 13 doesn't hit. A second slash, an 11 doesn't hit. Oh. I mean, that oh. intro was great, Josh, but you might have to think about re-casting. <laughs> Zero, it's your turn. Uh, save against death. Ooh. You can get one more, you are stable. Oh, that is a fail. Bitch. Ronan, stable. Rook, your turn. Uh, 
How, how badly hurt does she look here? She is. She, it looks bad. She's breathing heavy. But, did you have a cross? Like, like a did you have a crossbow? I swear I heard you say you took, you took your crossbow off at some point. Yeah, I don't think I, uh, I, I do have a crossbow, but these rocks do like more damage than the crossbow. Oh, true. Um, I believe in you, Rook. Rook's rocks. R and R. Let's do this. Please. And bust. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm bit. Like, oh, I am. I'm gonna uh, YOLO charge. Pull my other dagger out of my belt. Fuck. <laughs> and just charge at it with both my daggers. <laughs> oh, go <laughs> <going> YOLO. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bruh. This is how we do it. Alright, uh, roll the hit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's the first attack! You just needed uh, two more! The second attack Next one. subtract your strength bonus if you have any. But I still get an- I don't have a strength bonus. Okay. Well, it's dex. Or, or dex. Dex oh, bonus dex, yeah. or strength. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a Ooh. hit. Um, two damage. <laughs> just, just one. One. Is that enough? No, that's just one damage. That's one damage, yeah. Ew. Fuck. You've flicked like this little wound on it. You're both just like swaying, like taking like crazy hits at each other. How much uh, HP have we got, Rook? Rook, what's your HP? I, I don't know if I... Uh, you don't need to know that. Okay, fair. <laughs> Harpy rolls a 9 to hit. First four swipe, second. Another 9! Two misses! Oh, oh, shit. Right. Fucking tension! Uh, zero. Oh my god, zero. it's killing me. Roll against, save against death. Fuck. A pass, you are stable. <laughs> that's three. Oh. Yeah, that's three passes. Yeah, three. Yeah. Yep. Right. <clears throat> Rook, it's your turn. Come right. on, Rook. Leap at her. Both daggers straight for the chest. Go on. Go on, son. Go on. First oh, one. no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Oh wait, that's a hit! That one's a hit! That one's a hit! That's two damage! That's two damage! Come on, is it? She's still is that standing. Enough? She's still standing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Back, to Back to her. Josh. She rolled a nine. She rolled a five. <laughs> oh my god! Back to you, Rook. Oh, Rook. Is it back to zero? Or are you stable now? I'm stable. It's stable. It's stable. It's yeah. turn. Come on! Oh! <laughs> All right. Run! That's a hit. Four damage. Yes! That's yes! enough. How do you want to do this? Yes! <laughs> oh man! All right. I just want to stumble on top of her and just, just uh, like through tears as she's scrambling at me, just stab her in the chest, prison shank over and over, and fucking die! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my lord! Oh. Boy, come over and touch your boy. Uh, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give her a, a few, a quick few more quick measure, and then rush over to to my uh, to my teammates to see if they're still breathing. What do you even do when you have three unconscious teammates and no healing abilities? Medicine checks. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna close. I'm, I'm gonna, are they all still? They're all still alive, right? Yeah, they're all. Alright, I'm closing. Oh. I'm closing doors. <laughs> I'm closing doors. All right, I'm gonna start dragging them one by one into this room. <laughs> into the bathroom. <laughs> which which room? Yeah. I'll put myself into in the, the happy room. Into the happy room. Holy oh, shit, boys! Oh my god, I was on oh, the edge hell. of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> Session <laughs> one. <laughs> Almost <laughs> party wipe. Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh man. Ah. Oh. That hurt. That was that, insane. That, that, I, I felt that, man. My cheeks hurt from like smiling in anticipation. It's like, <laughs> I couldn't help but like shout and stand up when we were done. Holy oh, fuck. fuck it. Insane. Oh. I can't believe she kept fucking missing as well. Oh. I was like, yeah. Whew. All right, how about that healing? Hey. Uh, I'm taking a breather. You guys can rest for a bit. I am. Rook is sitting down against back against the door. Heart, hand, uh, hand on his heart, just like, what the fuck? Guess we're That's short crazy. resting in here, guys. For an hour. Yes, we are. <clears throat> Until the authorities arrive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, is there a lock on this door? Uh, there is. Can I lock it, or you is it like it. a... No, uh, you, okay, you lock can it. lock it. Oh, actually, no, yeah. it's, a, it's a key lock. <laughs> it's actually, a key lock. Yeah, and you don't have the key. 
Right, right, can I'll, you pull out my thieves tools and try and lock it with my thieves tools? Ooh, okay. Give me thieves. Give me roll. Roll thieves tools. That's like the opposite uh, of what they're used for. Do I? I can't remember how to do it from D and D Beyond. Like so a just, of hand just, check. just make a dex check and add your proficiency bonus. Uh, sure. Okay, so dex check. And I also get uh, plus four, Ooh, plus d4 maybe. Plus d4, yeah. Okay. Because of my uh, your the, staff, my artisan's intuition. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. So that's uh, thirteen plus two for my proficiency plus three. 18? So eight. Okay, you managed to rig it locked easy enough. All right. Hopefully, I can remember how to unlock it. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm going to take a short rest. Um, what does spare the dying do? Is it just stabilize or does it give It just stabilizes. Okay. Just yeah, immediate stabilizes. stabilization. Okay. Because you need at least... One hit point of healing one to hit, get up. Yeah, one hit point. Oh, wait, no, hang on. At the beginning. It's only knocked out for 1d4 hours. Am I, am I wrong? I don't know. I normally give my guys just like do a medicine check. Stabilizing. Yeah, a oh. stable creature that isn't healed uh, regains one hit point after one d4 hours. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, what do you want to do? Well, I want to hang around for an hour to see if any of them ah. uh, come back to. I just yeah, want to hang around for one d4 hours to regain some hit points. Yeah. Well, I want to hang around yeah, for one hour <laughs> so I can <laughs> short rest, and if any of them heal. At that point, then good. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rolling. I play you. How do you roll again? A one d four. Oh, All right. Who was that? Uh, the beef first. That would have so, been me because I got knocked out first. Uh, to whoever's first in, <clears throat> in the act. Actually, yeah, it's a good point. Uh, yeah, Cardock recovers after one hour, or is conscious okay. after one hour. And I wake up. Go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in a. Am, am I alive or dead? This is... Uh, Ronan takes two hours. I'm going to immediately... Can I take a short rest? <laughs> well, I can. Zero is unconscious for three hours. So when uh, Ronan comes back online, it's just a, a, a classic little... <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> short rest... <laughs> Roll a hit die. Fuck yeah! I get five hit points back. So, uh, so after my long rest, what what, what uh, roll do I need to make to get hit points back? Well, if we're waiting until Zero's back up, if we're waiting four hours, <clears throat> I thought it was three. It was three hours for Zero. Well, yeah. if he wants the short rest as well, then it'll be four hours. Hmm. Ah, right, sure. <laughs> we can just wait three hours and, until Zero's up. All right. So I'm gonna say this: if you're waiting hours and hours in like. An enemy bathhouse where you've massacred the security <laughs> team. You've massacred the kill. You uh, slit the throat of the receptionist who's on the floor in the reception. Mm -hmm. Along with, with a bodies, pile though. of wolf corpses. Two knolls that ran off to God knows where. Things we can't really move until we're conscious, though, right? <laughs> so we, ha we, ha we, ha we have well, to wait until we're well, conscious, well, regardless. While I'm waiting, Josh, for these guys to, could I? How how easy is this uh, lock to pick? Is it now that I've locked it? Can I like unpick and lock? Please it? tell me you've oh, locked yeah. us in here. I have. You yeah. can unlock it yourself like, easy you've, enough. You've. Okay. Would I be oh, able to like a thief with you too. go out, lock them in, so no one can go in the room, and then go to the receptionist while, like, just after Kadok wakes up and try and like clean up the evidence that we've been here. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know there's blood on the floor, but because right, yeah. I got me Re recount that whole string of actions for me. What do you want to do? I just want to like uh, move the bodies, like maybe stuff them underneath the receptionist's desk. I don't know. <laughs> okay, oh, can, can I just say? Can I just say something? Um, from the point of us being locked in the room. And then all of the party members being awake, does anything happen? Something's probably gonna happen, yeah. It is hours. Yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly, it's ours and we're in a thing, right? So at, any, at what point during the being locked in the room because we're all unconscious to then all of us waking up, at what period between that three hour process do we get interrupted? Oh, I'd say it'd be an hour at the most. Yeah, so, so, my, so, my, so Kardok and Rook are awake, but Ciro and myself are knocked out. Yep. Yep. Right, so I guess the conversation really happens between so Ciro one, and Kardok. So is he? So is he, he's locked us in here. He, Rook's gone off and tried to hide the bodies. I've woken up after an hour. Oh, it's alright. I'll just, uh, I'll just stay in here. Okay, well, I'll drop myself back down to one hit point for waking up. So I just come to... And I start looking around, making grinding noises. I'd say around this same time, you hear commotion out in the hallway. A lot of ruckus, multiple deep voices. <laughs> Stomping up and down, doors slamming. Oh, fuck. Um, I turn to Rook and I say, <clears throat> Oh, what's going on? Where are we? I've seen this room before. We get fucked. Am I dead? Are you dead? Well, just about. So was it a harpy that got us? Well, uh, this is why we. Always, this is why I always go alone. Go. Alone. Decisions are only mine. Therefore, I'm the only one to blame for this stuff. But clearly. Uh, I'm going to ignore Karak. Um but <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm going to turn to the door when I hear these voices, and is this just an, it's an, as, an, as an action? I'm going to use my magical tinkering and uh, tinker with the door a little bit and put a recorded message into it that says, uh, please do not disturb the harpy while she's bathing. <laughs> Fantastic. So if anyone touches the door handle, that message will play. <clears throat> roll, roll deception check for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ten. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <laughs> so the 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 uh, the grumbling and whatnot outside. Just like, rah, rah, you hear doors slamming like in succession coming towards you, and the door to your room is is shaking. It's like, it's like oh. And you hear, please do not disturb the harpy while she's bathing. <laughs> and you hear like a, a few seconds of silence. And then it rattles again. It's like, hey, what's going on in there? Says it again. I will prepare a shot with my short bow. And I'm going to take, yeah, I'm in the corner that I want to be in. And I'm just going to get ready to fire this off if anything kicks off. <laughs> well, at least you and I are probably going to survive this, Josh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we are unconscious on the ground. For all these guys know, this fucking wretched goblin and this half Oi, man, got, half bloody. warforged beat us into submission and then drag us in here for who knows what purposes. <clears throat> hey, Rook, seeing as we're the only two alive, do we want to tell them that these are the ones who came in and attacked? We could get undressed. And we could say we subdued them. And they're more likely to believe us because we're conscious. I don't think that'll work because I've just put the the message up that says the harpy's in here. Did you leave the harpy in the hallway? Because we're all covered in harpy scratches. Did you leave the harpy in the hallway? I imagine I would have dragged it in here. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I assume you dragged it in. <clears throat> How easy is it to pluck a harpy and what? St st stay with me. Stay, stay with me with this. All right. This might be one of our only off, but if one of us could disguise ourselves as <laughs> a harpy, I've I've got the ability to do so. If I don't say it to myself, I've got I've got my my kit. I can try and hide myself as a uh, harpy and see if I can tell them to go away. No, I'm not very good at being a female. <clears throat> you you try and do that, and I'll I'll. I'll just stand by the door. Okay. I right. start to pluck the harpy <laughs> to try and make a disguise. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jesus. Fucking gross. Yep. yep. Uh, there's, I, I, that's the, what I do. The door continues to rattle. So, do, 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 do. Like, hey! Uh, answer me! Uh, um, I will pipe up as the harpy. And, uh, 
<clears throat> and say, Get out of here! I am uh, trying to bathe! <laughs> I'm indecent! <laughs> oh my check. god! Roll deception check. <laughs> I turn to Rook and I'm like, thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I put a thumbs down, big thumbs down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm all out of ideas. We might have to just fight our way out of this, Rook. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, I would ask you how many hit points you're on, but you're being very elusive about it. If you get in melee combat with him, I can do a bit more damage than normal. Um, this was so much fun, guys. I enjoyed this. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I had a really this good time. This was a time. great one-shot. Hey, Josh. <laughs> yeah, excellent. A lot of hype. A lot of hype for a one-shot, but we did. Yeah, the, you know, it's still fun though. I oh, like this the kind of production right. value you put in for a one-shot. Imagine what I can't a wait to see what the real campaign. Like. Oh wow, it'd be insane. <laughs> Um, yeah, do we- do uh, th Is it just the one guy that seems to be rattling this door, Josh? No, uh, it could be him. You heard kind of multiple about. out in the hallway, but a lot of them seem to have walked off. Alright, I'm gonna turn to Kadok and, like, shake my head as if to say I don't think we can take him. There's a, a boot- there's, like, a thump on the door as someone tries to kick it in, but it's not strong enough to break I, the door. I prepare an arrow as- and I kind of, like, nod to Rook to say, like, it's been nice, sir. Uh, it's been a nice two hours. Uh, I nod back. I'm gonna uh, put my thieves tools in <clears throat> and unlock the door. Wait, what if, what if we barricade the doors with the bodies of the other two? <laughs> like, he said he's 260 <laughs> pounds, right? 70 pounds, thank you. 270. If we can barricade this door for more than how many hours? Four, three hours? He's gonna wake up before... <laughs> Exactly, but that's another body to fight. And yeah, if it, it lasts on one HP to but if fight, it, but if it lasts more than an hour, I can take a short rest in this time. There's another thump which on means the door, I can heal. Not, not hard enough to break it down. Okay, I, I, I say we could, uh, we could, um, we can move them bodies in front of the door in there. I'd say it as quietly as I can. I say we can move those bodies in front of the door in there. Yeah, the heavy one might be able to stop them, and then. If we get long enough that they realize they have to get something else, I can heal. Why have I now gone Scottish? <laughs> oh, I can heal. You just do that when you're <clears throat> under pressure. Yeah, I've, this is actually my real voice. Yeah, this is my, my nervous voice. And if we put the bodies in front of the door and it takes them more than an hour to get through, I. Oh, no. Th there's another thump on the what, door. What are, another, what are our other the, options? The door we could either just time. give up. The door okay. breaks and opens. The an orc stamps. I, an orc uh, lumbers through, almost butt naked, <laughs> except for he actually has a towel wrapped around him because he's left the bathroom. And he's okay. he run, stomps through with a great axe. He's <clears> like, <throat> "What the hell's going on here? Who are you?" Raised my dagger and see, are, are you one of them who's been attacking everyone here? Please don't hurt us. We got attacked by yeah. We we got attacked by the two on the floor. Fuck, oh why am I so God. Scottish? Oh, oh, you scumbag! For all the deception. Fucking asshole! Not bad. Oh, sure, oh. that one you go, you get good. Oh. He uh, he looks like he gives uh, fuck? gives Rook <laughs> a filthy look because he's a human, uh, but then like believes Carter because he's like he's a, a goblin and sort of like fits in more. And he's like, oh, but who are they? Well, they came in here while me and my mate here were to bathe, but as you can see, we took him out. They somehow magically locked the door. Uh, we got our clothes on quickly, and as you can see, we got stuck in here. You start battering on the door. And, and what was them two out. that killed all the kobolds? 100% all them. And I <laughs> wink at Rook. I don't even have any <laughs> weapons! I'm mortified! <laughs> he, he looks down, he's like, spits on Zero. And walks over to hit to our uh, Ronan, like unhoods him, pull, pulls his face mask off. So bloody hell! It was a scary fuck, fuck. We were scary as fuck. We were lucky to take him out, seen. weren't we? We were lucky to take him out, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, I tell you what. Do you know? Do you know the guy in charge of this place? He's like. Are you, are you just a visitor? Out of your fucking business. I don't even know no, you. No, it is. No, 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 no. It's just, it's just reason, <laughs> reason being. 
Can if you he get finds out, no, if he if he finds out what's happened here, it's gonna be fucking our oh, business, right? That's true. We're the ones who, I mean, we start the fight. We don't want to get in trouble, so we kind of want to, you know, hide these bodies a bit, just so we don't have to, you know, deal with the boss man being angry. Roll a deception check. Fifteen. Because <clears throat> between you and me, mate, like I don't want the boss man coming down hard on us. And if he knows that we got in trouble, and we aren't allowed here anymore, because these two came and attacked us. Like, they attacked the others, but we don't know who the target is, and we're just trying to save our own skin here. No. And if we get these two out of here, hide the bodies somewhere else, we can just pretend this never happened. Somebody no. else came in and attacked, and no, n none, none of us were here. You, me, the other, uh, uh, this, this guy here, James. Oh, you two clean this filth up. Oh, well, we'll, we'll dispose of these bodies. I'm gonna go talk to the boss. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start dragging Ronan if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna start dragging. I uh, know I'll leave him now. I'll, I'll start dragging him if I can. It's like we gotta get the fuck out of here now. Just gonna mutter, muttering fuck underneath my breath over and over. Oh, I shut the door. Sorry, guys. <laughs> is, is it been? A, is half an hour past? You said it was about an hour and a half after, right? So has, has it been two hours for me to wake up? It has not. It's been nowhere near two hours. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna take this body that I have in my hands that you're, you can't see because I can't grab his token. Just taking him out the door. I'm assuming yeah. you'd be kind of dragging him, right? Because you'd like, you'd have him slumped over your shoulders. I would have and... to drag him. I'm, dude, I'm like three foot five. Yeah. Yeah, but tiny. would it be like, what's it called? You, you have it like he's like, like this, and you're sort of like. <laughs> no, no, no! It's more, it's more. I'm literally like got my butt sticking in the air, holding his two feet and dragging him backwards. <laughs> That's how I imagine this. So I'm just pulling him through, all the way into, like, yeah. Um, where's the nearest church of whatever god he was babbling on about? Who didn't let him do the magic? Dorotham or Dorothy? Dorothy. Where's the nearest um, Dora the Explorer? Church. <laughs> right, so what do you guys do? Are you dragging their bodies <clears throat> out of the premises? Dragging their bodies out into the street. I'm just trying Try. to get us out onto the street. Okay. Uh, whoever's dragging uh, Ronan's going to need a strength check. Yes. <laughs> 14. Hmm, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. His little robot arms just to like, just kick in. <laughs> Just take them apart and take them out piece by piece. We'll be all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so you we just... Drag them out into the streets. Them out. I want to go to the nearest place that I can fucking hide these guys. If there's a sewer drain, I just push them in there. And we hide in there. Like... Is that a sewer drain up ahead? I hope so. Let me have a look. Nah, that's just darkness. Don't go uh, down that street. No one knows what goes there. Yeah, there is no sewer drains nearby. Okay, I keep dragging. There's some Until. boxes here. Is there somewhere I that I would know because of my background in being a cheeky rogue boy? Uh, um, do not know anything about this area. Like a safe house or anything, or... Does Rook know anything about this area since he grew up in Sean, or he's from Sean? Mm, I don't, didn't really grow up in this area of Sean, though. Not yeah, sure. Sean's a big city. Mm, yes, Rook, it is. What ideas do you have for, for hiding these fellas? Because we could just... You know, put them in a crate, or, or you know, leave them on the street. But I kind of want to, as as much as they, as much as that, uh, that Sor Soro guy fucked us. Clearly, because he let out the 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 harpy, and that then led to all of us being knocked out. It's clearly his fault, 100% his fault. Uh, I kind of want to still save him. Half because you owe me his life. Same with the Ronin, but you know. More so because I thought they were quite friendly in the end. Maybe shut up and just drag the bodies. I think you're right, Rook. <laughs> just keep dragging these bodies out <laughs> into a street. And... I'm going to go up this as alleyway and just, and just, yeah. just get him like five minutes into the alleyway and just collapse. Well, I, I, I think we should go further. You just can't collapse there. No. We've got to go further. Because no. if they come around the corner, they're just going to look for us unless we try and hide them. <sighs> Fuck. We, we got to push like, through. You guys can, can drag them through. You get some funny looks here <clears> and there, but it's a rough district. 
Um, so you may you, yeah. can, you can just drag them out of the entire district if you want and back to safety. Yeah, take them uh, back to my place. Drag them. You can take if we can take them back to our place. Like after a while, I presume they'll wake. To no, I'm, not, like, I'm not dragging them any more than like 50 meters. Uh, Rook is cooked. I'll drag them a little yeah. bit, and then I'm just going to collapse next to uh, Ronan's body. Fuck. All right. Well, let's at least try and hide ourselves a bit. Can we do some sneak checks, uh, stealth checks, to see if we can hide ourselves and the other people? All right, so you're hiding out in the district nearby? Yeah, if possible. If we can find, like, an abandoned house that's not been entered for a while. We'll uh, hang out with the crackheads. That's probably going to be pretty hard to find, but you can just find an alley somewhere. All right. Do you want me to do a stealth check to see how hidden we are? Uh, yes. And me, or just... Uh... Oh, fuck. Jesus, Don't ask well to do the role unless you're told <laughs> to, man. <laughs> yeah, why are you asking for punishment? <laughs> Uh, just, I'm a sucker for punishment. No, it's because we're playing with two G. Like, you guys are all GMs. You should know your own trick, surely. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I would make my uh, players uh, real yeah, for it. You hide out. <laughs> and I know Josh would make me. A yeah. Uh, so an hour past. And then what? What did I say? We'll... Ronan. Ronan was next. Am yep, I allowed yep. to treat that as a short rest two in that hours, hour? Or do I... And then three hours. Yeah, you can treat it as a short rest. I did that five here. Right, it is around 1 a.m. and you're hiding out in the alley as the other guys regain consciousness and collect themselves. So we're going back. <laughs> we still what haven't happened? found her. Look, I don't know about well, you guys. Fuck but... it, we found some woman, all right. Yeah, this is why every time we enter a building, we come up with a plan. You know how tactically we took out those coal bolts? That was perfect. That was when tactical. We just... We fucked up those cobalts. Yeah, oh, only because we, we, everything everything about the whole situation was just a complete shit show. Nah, it was perfect. We were going fine. We were clearing it. We got it. What are you talking it about? Wasn't... You went down. I saw you fall to the ground two times. We were talking about the cobalts, and I fell down once. I didn't fall down twice while fighting the cobalts. You did. I had to heal you. No, nah, that was the first one with the wolves. Yeah, exactly. There was only one kobold that time. No, I meant the second one. Let's not talk about the first one. The second yeah, one was Yeah, actually, perfect. let's just stop talking. I've got, like, I can feel the hangover coming on and just... Oh. That's the other thing I'm going to talk hey, about. Rock. I believe... Rock! I a... You're clearly the one who's in charge of, like, you're meant to be in charge. Can what? you just, like, make... Me? I, f I saved your life, mate. You would still be in that room there with a half-naked orc. God knows what he'll do to you. Oh, yeah, that's not pleasant. Don't exactly. talk to me about saving lives, Kadok. What do you mean? I saved your life well before that. Yeah, you saved my life. I'm indebted to you. Zero's gonna fish we into his, like, we, we, pocket. mainly me, got us out of that situation and saved the other two. And pull out, like, a stalk of grapes. <laughs> and he's gonna start eating them one at a time. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Each time, regaining one HP per grape. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should check the bodies for food and stuff. Yeah, fucking good berry. Good berry. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Fuck, we should have checked his gear to see if he had something. Can I uh, use second wind, Josh? Well, Can I was going to offer you the rest of them. Oh, yeah? Well, oh, no, I, I can't eat grapes. <clears throat> yeah, you can't oh. eat. <clears throat> Uh, I offered them oh. to you anyway. You could use second win. You can also just use uh, your short rest hit die. It's up to you. Or you can use both. Um. Oh. Uh. Sorry. Did, did I rest enough for a short rest break? How, yeah. long, how long is a short rest? Oh, it depends how oh, long okay. you guys are hanging out in this alley. Probably not that very long. I, I want to go back to fucking cover. I want to go back to Kasha. Like, as much as I feel indebted to help uh, Taran protect his brother, I realize that these are all a bunch of fucking retards. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, man. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Yeah. Let's go. Sir Sirena and Ronan are fucking heading back to where Taran is. Alright, you guys he's, he's like, Yeah, hands up in the air. It's like, thank you for saving us. Oh, it's like, that chick, the, the chick you're looking for, she's fucking dead. And you will be too if you keep looking for her. Uh, peace out. I saved your life, Zero. Yeah, you saved both of your lives. And yours, Ronan. You'd be dead without I, us. I, I, I appreciate it, little one. The least we, least you owe us is seeing this job through. 
Well, because once it. you once once we've taken this job, that's it. Rook, you should know this. We go back on this job, we'll be running for the rest of our lives until they find out where we are. And and yeah, there. they'll be looking for you. Nah, you took up the job as well. No, they know your two faces. Oh, I mean, they know your face. Trust me, they wouldn't have picked you if they didn't know that you could be a uh, bent. At the at the mention of face, Rona realizes that he doesn't have his face covering on anymore, <laughs> and starts freaking out a little bit. And this is like, it's like I, I need to go home. I need to leave now. I'll let you. I, the only way for us no. to be cleared, no, listen. The only way for us to be cleared, is we're to do done this job. here. You'll walk into I, your I'd own death. Walking son. away. You'll walk into your own death. You will. Go, not... Ronan. Kodak, Kodak. Ronan. Uh, we, we, will, to... we, we will. We will talk. We will talk about this tomorrow. But at this present moment, I need to go home right now. And then just walks. This bows and walk, and then just does like a little shuffle off, and it's like off the zero, zero. I'm gonna zero. Uh, I'm gonna touch a little brooch on my chest. It's the shape of a little bird. And when I touch it, it comes to life. And this little flying mechanical clockwork bird is gonna swoop out towards you, Ronan. Yep. And towards you, Ciro. And I'm gonna cast the message spell on both of you as you're walking away and say, You both owe me a life debt. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Fucking life debt, Jesus Christ. I turn back and look at you, I just give you the finger. <laughs> keep walking. Can I can I talk back to you or can I only yeah, hear what yeah. you're saying? No, I can't talk back. Um uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, it's like you hear it like a whisper, I'm pretty sure that's how a message yeah. works. Yeah. Like uh, Rook, I I am I'm indebted to you, but we must talk about this tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna shake my head. And just sit down in the alleyway and go to sleep. <laughs> All right, I'll take first Zero, watch. Ronan, you both walk off. Zero, where do you, do you go back to the healing house? Uh, no, I'm gonna go to the. He's gonna come meet Taran. Yeah, where was the place that Taran said they were staying? The Gold Dragon Tavern. The Gold Dragon, Gold Dragon Tavern. Inn. Yeah. Gold Dragon Inn. Yeah. Right, That's up, where yeah. I'm going. I'm the... going there as well. Right, sweet. So I, I, I'm taking Sierra back there to for us to rest. Okay, it is 1 a.m. So it's gonna be, yeah, a long rest. Um, so you guys make your way. It takes half an hour to move up to Middle Jura. Yeah. Finally, find the Gold Dragon. Inn, uh, at, in sorry, the before you say that, along the way, I com complain to Ronan. Those are two of the most incompetent gangsters I've ever met. <laughs> And, um, what the fuck did they have to drag me into their bullshit? Oh, I'm just a I, healer. I, I, I believe your your uh, halfling friend was the one that brought you into this. <sighs> well, I hope you didn't have any plans to stay here. I have but one mission. Yeah, what one is that? Now is it time. to protect me? That's his a side mission. Okay, well, what's your what's your other mission? There's no time. <laughs> what do you mean? We've got, we've got he starts right, he starts jogging. He starts jogging. Like you need, no one understands how much he needs to be inside to like get a new covering or something like that. Um, I'm assuming it was it was just left in the fucking bathroom. Uh, yeah, yeah. What happened to his face covering? Did it get like? Is it just like destroyed oh, so or is hanging it... around his neck? Was it? Yeah, yeah. Probably would have just fallen down. Oh, okay, so I can like readjust it. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Well, I readjust it on the way as we get to there. Like half, it's half an hour hike from one era to the, to back to yeah. where uh, Taran is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when he realizes he walks past a window, sees his reflection, he goes, "Ah," oh. he does it. <laughs> Doesn't feel as bad anymore. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, along the way, I want to ask you, like, who who's the girl? Uh, okay. Um, she is uh, someone of great significance for where I'm from, and I'm guarding her on her journey to meet some uh, friendly followers of 
path of light. Yeah, okay. Zero, like, yeah, gets the vibe that uh, this is not something he wants to get tangled up in. This sounds like... <laughs> So he's just going to stop asking questions. <laughs> you guys walk in awkward silence the rest of the way. Yep. You finally arrive at the Gold Dragon Inn. Uh, you walk inside. The innkeeper, the night watchman, is up. He's like, Hey, who? Who is that? What do you want? Well, we're going up to our room, if that's all right. Yeah, I haven't seen you here tonight. What room are you in? Up here to uh, see... Karen and Kasha. Oh, all right. Yeah, the little blonde girl and the and the half elf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, just upstairs, second room on the left. Rain does a little nod and proceeds up the stairs to the room. All right, you wonder. I up. give him the rest of my um, my healing berries. <laughs> What's the budget to the not the right watchman? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he's eating. Like, Damn! Oh, thank you, thank, uh, thank you, fruit. It's good for a uh, part of a balanced diet. He's balanced diet wonder. can do wonders for your health. He wanders back, <laughs> back into his little room. <laughs> All right, you guys wander up. Uh, what do you want to do? Your knock on the door just open. What do you? Uh, I'm just uh, running, just uh, gonna kind of like just slowly open it and walk in. All right. As you walk in, you instantly get the feeling that something's not right. There's, uh... Yeah, there's only one bed spare, and there are two of us. <laughs> the room is dark. The window is open. There's a breeze blowing in. It's a, it's a fairly chilly night. It's like 10 degrees Celsius. As you look around, you push the door open even further. The candlelight from the hallway washes over the room. You see a body face down on the floor in a pool of blood. Karen's. Oh. You quickly... Fuck! Ronan, distress, you fling the door open the rest of the way and look around the room. Kasha nowhere in sight. Kasha! Um, I bend Kasha! down and check Taren's pulse. He is dead. And that's where we're going to leave it tonight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Shit. Shit. Yeah, right. I'm so stressed. That fucking. <laughs> that was stupid. <clears throat> <laughs>